Chapter 981 Dragon Blood Intimidates Demons Translator Born to be Flea Everyone was still confused when the four sea demons' corpses were tossed inside the flying boat. Elder Shah had killed the other three sea demons before returning, and they had just been too tense to notice that he had killed them. Elder Shah didn't have his previous ease once he had returned. An unprecedented solemn expression was on his face, and he hastily sent the boat flying away. Everyone was startled. Weren't the four ninth rank sea demons all killed? Why was he so nervous? What's going on? Tang Wan'er stealthily whispered to Long Chen. I might have gone a bit too far. We're surrounded. Long Chen felt a bit bad. He hadn't expected matters to develop to this extent. Space suddenly began to tremble, and huge waves soared into the sky. Terrifying pressures crashed down upon them as huge figures flew out of the sea. Heavens, there are actually this many. They found that the flying boat was surrounded. Everything within thousands of miles was blocked off. Those huge figures were all ninth rank sea demons, and there were actually around 80 of them. 89th rank sea demons covered the entire sky. This was a blockade they couldn't get out of. Everyone, prepare yourselves. We can only charge our way through, shouted Elder Shaw. He pressed down on several spots of the control panel. The flying boat suddenly rumbled and spiritual key erupted. The runes on the flying boat lit up, even the ones on the interior. Although the disciples didn't understand how to operate such a huge flying boat, seeing all its runes lit up, it was clear that the flying boat was about to use its full power. They didn't dare to be careless. They summoned their heavenly Dao runes to protect themselves to avoid being killed by the intense impact. The light from the flying boat's runes suddenly blazed like the sun. Long Chen sensed the spirit stones stored below deck rapidly shatter. Half of their energy vanished in an instant. The flying boat shot off like a cannonball smashing into the ninth rank sea demons in front of it. Two of them were smashed to death, while the others were blown out of the way. But Elder Shaw's expression became uglier. This one impact caused quite a few people inside the flying boat to vomit blood and collapse on that ground. The impact had almost taken their lives. Suddenly, a furious roar rang out. The sea demons split apart, revealing a huge figure floating in the sky. Six-horned sea serpent. Elder Shaw couldn't help but let out a startled cry. That huge sea drake had three pairs of horns. Its horns were golden and possessed ancient runes on them. The six-horned sea serpent was different from ordinary sea demons. It possessed its own name. Only a few powerful sea demons possessed the qualifications to be named by the human race's cultivators. Foolish humans. Since you wanted to cause trouble in our domain, you can die. Shockingly, this six-horned sea serpent was capable of human speech. But its voice was like iron scraping against iron. If they didn't listen carefully, there was no way to understand it. Now it's troublesome. Elder Shaw's expression was exceedingly ugly. What is it? Can you not handle it? Long Chen walked over to Elder Shaw's side. That six-horned sea serpent isn't an ordinary sea demon. It is exceptionally powerful and possesses its own innate divine abilities. If it was a one against one, perhaps I could defeat Chiringit. But right now, we're surrounded. Furthermore, there are not enough spirit stones in the flying boat anymore. If we use them all up, it should be no problem to kill this six-horned sea serpent. But then the flying boat won't have the energy to fly anymore. We're stuck. Sighed Elder Shaw. Wang Mang and the others were pale. Elder Shaw's meaning was clear. The flying boat only had enough energy to launch one more attack. But if they used it, the flying boat wouldn't be able to move any longer. And using it would only be able to kill the six-horned sea serpent. Not the other ninth rank sea demons. In other words, even Elder Shaw was helpless now. They would all die here. They despaired. The heavens really knew how to play people. To let them become rich right before dying. How about you let me try something? Asked Long Chen after a moment's thought. You. Elder Shaw was startled. Yes. I'm not fully confident. But it's worth a shot. Senior. Please transport me outside the flying boat. Said Long Chen. Are you sure about this? Asked Elder Shaw. Yes. Long Chen saw that the six horned sea serpent scales were starting to glow. It was storing up energy for a powerful attack. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, Long Chen appeared outside the flying boat. Standing at the front, Long Chen icily stared at the six-horned sea serpent. Heavens, what is boss doing? Gu Yang's jaw dropped. He didn't dare to believe his eyes. Even Elder Sha didn't dare to face this many sea demons. But Long Chen charged out on his own. That was too shocking. An ant's come out? Are you trying to use your pathetic life to appease our anger? said the six-horned sea serpent coldly. With its huge body floating in the air, Long Chen truly was as tiny as an ant. Idiot. You're not kneeling in front of your ancestor. 
shouted Long Chen. His blood key circulated, and green scales appeared over his skin. A powerful aura erupted. An unspeakable grandeur came from him, and despite being smaller and lower, he seemed to look down on the rest of the world. The six-horned sea serpent had just been about to launch its attack when Long Chen's new aura struck him. It came to a sudden stop and began to shiver involuntarily. The other sea demons had it even worse, trembling intensely and retreating. Damn. Do you see this? This is how domineering boss is. Even sea demons have to part in front of him. This is the highest realm of posing, exclaimed Guo Ran passionately. Even Elder Sha was shocked. More and more, he found he was unable to understand Long Chen. That blood key should be a spirit blood pressure, but he couldn't understand why the sea demons would be so terrified. What he didn't know was that this wasn't spirit blood pressure, but the bloodline pressure Long Chen could release after refining the green dragon essence blood. His dragon blood had come from a true dragon, a king amongst all beasts. Its bloodline pressure was especially effective against magical beasts and sea demons. Even these ninth rank sea demons were terrified and didn't dare to approach him. Scram! shouted Long Chen his row ringing like thunder in the air. An unquestionable will cause the ninth rank sea demons to actually retreat even more. Even the six-horned sea serpent slowly moved to the side, leaving a path open. The blood key coming from Long Chen's body terrified it. Although it was a bit unwilling, it was unable to resist that pressure. Seeing a shout from Long Chen actually form a path amongst the ninth rank sea demons, Elder Sha was delighted. He sent the flying boat forward. Boss says to go slower. Don't show any timidity said Guo Ran, looking at Long Chen. Long Chen's hands were clasped behind his back, but they were in constant motion, forming signals that only Guo Ran, who was most familiar with Long Chen, understood. When the two of them had nothing else to do, they would come up with some secret signals. Guo Ran was the commander of the Dragonblood Legion, so the two of them needed a secret communication method. Even spiritual messages might be cut off on a battlefield, so the two had come up with a secret communication method. That way, they could silently communicate on the battlefield without anyone else knowing. The flying boat slowly moved forward, with Long Chen standing at the front and his blood key soaring out of him. The ninth rank sea demons just watched, not daring to stop them. Even the six-horned sea serpent didn't dare despite having an urge to do so several times. That grand aura Long Chen was releasing was so powerful that it seemed to look down on all others, including the six-horned sea serpent. The more Long Chen expressed his disdain for it, the more it didn't dare to attack, it didn't know what to do, and the other sea demons were waiting for its orders. It didn't know that Long Chen was already starting to sweat. Although he had the pressure of the dragon blood, he was only at sea expansion. This six-horned sea serpent could probably kill him in one blow. This posing was too dangerous. Fortunately, the pressure from the dragon blood truly did intimidate them. Although Long Chen wasn't looking at the sea demons in order to appear arrogant, his divine sense was constantly roving around. Damn, it's not working. They're going to attack. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He sensed the six-horned sea serpent scale slowly opening. He hastily gave Guo Ran new hand signals. Boom. The flying boat suddenly erupted with light, shooting forward like a cannonball and pushing its speed to its peak. The six-horned sea serpent was almost ready to unleash its attack, but the flying boat had vanished. Chapter 982 Terrifying Existence Translator Born to be the sea demons only reacted once the flying boat escaped. They hastily chased after them. You really are courting death. You damn bastard. You're bullying people too much. Cursed the six-horned sea serpent. It seemed in its fury. It had forgotten it wasn't human. At first, it really had been intimidated by Long Chen's aura. But no matter how strong Long Chen's bloodline power was, his cultivation base was only at sea expansion. Even with the bloodline pressure, it could easily kill Long Chen. By the time it realized this, Long Chen had fled. The most hateful thing was that right before that, Long Chen had conveniently picked up the two ninth rank corpses that the flying boat had smashed to death. The six horned sea serpent's intelligence was much higher than ordinary sea demons. It knew it had been duped, and with a roar, it led the ninth rank sea demons to chase. Some of these sea demons flew through the air, their scales releasing some kind of spatial tearing power. Another portion returned to the sea, where their speed was the greatest. Boss, you actually even brought those two corpses. Guo Ran looked at Long Chen with worship. His boss truly was greedy. Even at this time, he didn't forget to get more profit. Elder Shaw, can we increase the speed? Long Chen ignored Guo Ran and asked Elder Shaw. The flying boat's too big. 
and its acceleration is too slow. It'll take at least 15 minutes to reach its top speed. Elder Shaw shook his head. This was one of the disadvantages of large flying boats. It wasn't nimble enough, and it required some time to reach its max speed. Heavens, they've caught up already, cried Wang Mang. In the distance, there was a mass of huge figures chasing them, and at the front was the terrifying six-horned sea serpent. Its body swam through the air, its scales sparkled, and its speed was alarming. It's over for us, said one of the Eastern Wasteland's disciples. They had wanted to go to that legendary world known as the Central Plains, but before seeing that legendary world, they would die within the sea. Elder Shaw, continue accelerating as fast as possible. I'll stall them, said Long Chen. You can't. Your bloodline pressure is effective, but your cultivation base is too low. It's not enough to force them off, and they won't fall for it twice. Guo Ran, you come control the boat. I'll go hold them back. Whether or not you can escape will be up to your luck, said Elder Shaw. Elder Shaw, everyone let out startled cries. Elder Shaw was clearly saying that he would fight the sea demons to stall for them. That way, they would have some hope for surviving. But Elder Shaw would definitely die once surrounded by those sea demons. It was unexpected that this indifferent and cold Elder Shaw would actually sacrifice himself for them. Everyone felt a sour feeling. These are the rules. Don't feel bad. Time is pressing. So I said Elder Shaw. Long Chen shook his head. It's no use. The six-horned sea serpent's intelligence is comparable to a human's. Even if you sacrifice yourself, it'll order a portion of the sea demons to continue chasing us. Guo Ran isn't familiar with how to use the flying boat. So in the end, not one person will escape like that. That's the only option, said Elder Shaw. I still have a few tricks. Maybe I can stall for a bit. Elder Shaw, transport me out, said Long Chen. Elder Shaw couldn't think of anything else. If Long Chen said he still had some tricks, then the best thing to do was to let him try them. But this time, Long Chen appeared at the back of the ship. At the aft, Long Chen shouted arrogantly at the six-horned sea serpent. TCH, you foolish fish. You don't even recognize your ancestor's bloodline. Do you want to offend your superior? Rumor said that the six-horned sea serpent possessed a dragon's bloodline. Although it was extremely faint, it truly existed. Amongst all the sea demons, only it was able to just barely contend against Long Chen's bloodline pressure. But it was unable to suppress the reverence that came from its soul. Don't try to trick me, you sly, despicable humans. You aren't a true dragon at all. I'll eat you for sullying the true dragon's name, shouted the six-horned sea serpent. Long Chen cursed inside. The six-horned sea serpent had sensed his true dragon essence blood and wanted to eat him to take it. Then perhaps there really would be a chance for it to transform into a dragon. If the six-horned sea serpent wasn't so intelligent, then they would have already managed to escape. But now it was troublesome. The flying boat was accelerating with each passing moment. What they needed most at this time was for Long Chen to stall. No. You're wrong. Haven't you heard of the true dragon Heavenly Sun? That's right. I am the true dragon Heavenly Sun. Although, although I'm not wearing dragon robes, can you not sense my temperament, my mannerisms? Do you not sense my aura that is like a dragon looking down on the rest of the world? As the saying goes, you can't judge people by their looks. The water of the sea is very cold, very cold. As Long Chen spouted nonsense, he ended up not knowing what to say at the end. The six-horned sea serpent was startled at first by Long Chen's nonsense. But as Long Chen continued to sputter, it ended up not understanding his nonsense. Then it noticed the flying boat was getting faster and faster, and it realized his goal. It opened its mouth, shooting a huge globe of light toward Long Chen. That was one of its innate divine abilities. If struck, Long Chen wouldn't even have a corpse. Suddenly, Long Chen disappeared as he was drawn back inside by Elder Shaw. At the same time, Elder Shaw pushed the flying boat's defenses as high as possible. Bang! The flying boat shook intensely and shot into the distance. Because of the immense power, the flying boat struck the water and rebounded several times, causing the people inside to vomit blood. Even the dragon blood warriors weren't able to bear it and were injured. As for the others, many of them fainted. Are you all right? Cried Tang Wan'er. Men Ki was pale, and blood was dripping out of the corner of her mouth. Although Tang Wan'er was doing her best to protect her. Men Ki was still injured. I'm fine. Comforted Men Ki. Fuck. So it's a case of giving face but not getting face? Elder Shaw. Send me out. Long Chen once more appeared at the back of the boat. Pointing at the six-horned sea serpent. He cursed. Bastard. I'll make you pay for that one. Double dragon destruction. 
Roaring resounded through the air as flames and lightning condensed. Two dragons 3,000 miles long appeared, immediately coiling around each other and forming a dragon twister that struck the six-horned sea serpent. Boom. The six-horned sea serpent was sent flying. Lai Long and Huo Long were no longer the old Lai Long and Huo Long. Lai Long had absorbed an incredible amount of thunder force from the tribulation, while Huo Long had devoured another earth flame. They were both much stronger than before. The six-horned sea serpent first felt its body go numb as thunder force invaded inside and then flames wrapped around it. Even as a ninth-rank sea demon, its body wasn't able to bear such terrifying flames. A burnt smell filled the air, along with the smell of cooked fish. Brother Long, I want to eat it. Wild immediately smelled it and became unbearably hungry. Everyone almost collapsed. What time was it? How could he still want food? The six-horned sea serpent was knocked back, and although it was a bit injured, it wasn't anywhere close to a fatal injury. Long Chen had Lai Long and Huo Long continue circling at the back of the flying boat to protect them. The two of them were extremely large, and even the sea demons had to be afraid of their combination attack. With the two of them at the back of the flying boat, the sea demons were forced back further. Boss is mighty, Guo Ran and the others cheered. Even Elder Sha sighed with relief as he hadn't expected Long Chen to have so many trump cards. The crisis was temporarily held back. Whether it was lightning or flames, each of them could intimidate the water attribute sea demons. The thunder force was especially effective against them, as it came from the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning. Bastard. The six-horned sea serpent roared furiously, seeing the flying boat's speed continuously increasing. It finally went berserk. Its body suddenly swelled, and opening its mouth, a huge globe of light shot out. Boom. The two dragons shattered in the face of this terrifying attack causing Long Chen's expression to change. However, he also saw that the six-horned sea serpent scales clearly dimmed slightly after it. This attack must have cost a lot. A good chance. The six-horned sea serpent had only just unleashed this powerful attack, and its aura was still at the bottom. At this moment, the back of the flying boat opened and a huge flying sword shot through its head. It was caught off guard and killed instantly. Its body was pulled into the flying boat and Long Chen also returned inside because the flying boat's speed was now reaching its peak. The other sea demons were no longer able to get any closer. Furthermore, the flying boat was still accelerating. In other words, they were safe. Boss is badass. Elder Sha is cough. Hail Elder Sha. Guo Ran cheered. Everyone was excited to have escaped certain death. Even Elder Sha had a rare smile on his face. The feeling of escaping calamity was truly a good one. Fuck. We ended up disturbing a terrifying existence. Long Chen was also excited at first. He was just about to tidy up the spoils when his and Elder Sha's expression completely changed. Chapter 983 Azure Dragon Reverse Scale Translator Born to be Long Chen's back suddenly became covered in sweat as a terrifying sensation of death washed over him. This was his second time feeling it. Long Chen. Men Qi was startled. She had also experienced this kind of terrifying threat. He and Men Qi had disturbed a terrifying existence in the spirit world. They had both almost died at that time. Now, they both sensed a threat on the same level. Elder Shaw's expression was ashen. He had already given up on escaping. Elder Shaw, what kind of existence is this? Guo Ran and the others were pale with terror. The aura of a 10th rank sea demon were powerless to resist. Sighed Elder Shaw, that was an existence on a higher level than King's. Elder Shaw had never imagined that they would be so unlucky as to end up disturbing one of the 10th rank sea demons lurking in the depths of the sea. The sunny sky turned pitch black. It was like the end of the world. A 10th rank sea demon's power can suppress heaven and earth. For us to be able to see such a manifestation before death, we can die without regrets. Sighed Elder Shaw emotionally. The void seemed to be tearing. A huge head appeared in the air, looking down on them. Although they were unable to see its body just its head was the size of a whole city. It felt as if the world had frozen. It appeared like the head of a god. It's another six-horned sea serpent. No wait, it has eight horns. Gu Yang looked at the huge head with horror. It couldn't be that six-horned sea serpent's dad, could it? Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out of his head. This monstrous head was appalling. The huge head suddenly let out a roar. It was like the heavens were exploding, and the sound wave shattered the flying boat's defenses. The ear-piercing sound was like needles stabbing into their ears. At the same time, a spiritual pressure crashed down on everyone, making them feel like their souls were about to be crushed. Long Chen hastily circulated his bloodline power. His blood key erupted, facing that terrifying spiritual pressure. But in front of that spiritual pressure, 
He vomited a mouthful of blood he was too weak in front of a 10th rank sea demon. Even with his dragon blood, he couldn't resist. Fuck. How could this happen? I can't die yet. There are too many things for me to do. Long Chen cursed inside. He stood at the front, facing the majority of the spiritual pressure. He knew that the others wouldn't be able to resist the pressure and would be crushed alive. But Long Chen's cultivation base was still too low. He constantly vomited blood as he resisted. Long Chen, cried Tang Wanur. She held the unconscious men key in her hand. Elder Sha was only capable of clenching his teeth and enduring. In front of a 10th rank sea demon, his power wasn't much different than everyone else's. Just as everyone thought they would die, a mouthful of Long Chen's blood fell into the sea. It rapidly dissipated. Buzz. Suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the sea, lighting up the dark sky. A sacred, divine, irresistible might erupted. This sacred light blew apart the black clouds, lighting up the world. This is, a familiar aura. Long Chen was shocked. Following that sacred light, a furious and resentful roar, which also contained fear, rang out. Then everyone felt their bodies lighten as that terrifying pressure disappeared. Heaven and earth returned to normal. The black clouds were gone. The huge head was gone. Everything was gone. It was like those moments had just been a dream. But the flying boat's barrier was also gone. And there were thin cracks in some places of the boat. Those told everyone that it hadn't been a dream. Elder Shaw was also dumbfounded. Just now, a sacred light had forced back the terrifying 10th rank sea demon. That light had now vanished as well. Elder Shaw didn't even know what was going on. That familiar aura is the aura of dragon blood. It must be. Long Chen's eyes shone. He even sensed a kind of bloodline summoning. It was definitely the dragon blood. Elder Shaw, can you wait here for a moment? I'm going down to take a look. Wait, what are you doing? Elder Shaw was startled. But Long Chen had already jumped into the sea. Elder Shaw's expression sank. Willful brat. He doesn't follow the rules at all. Elder Shaw, the flying boat has been damaged in several areas. We should repair it a bit. If you need it, disciple can help. To accomplish what you ask me, I will work with all my might until I die. Guo Ran called out, a fawning expression on his face. Long Chen closed his eyes and sensed where that summoning was coming from. He swam toward the depth of the sea. He was sure there was something he needed down below. That light that had shot out had been absolutely shocking. It was actually able to chase away a 10th rank sea demon. He had to figure out what was going on. As he went lower, he saw more sea demon corpses. From their appearance, it seemed they had been killed by that light as well. One he was a hundred miles deep. He felt the pressure start to get too much. He had no choice but to summon his divine ring. Long Chen wasn't worried about his safety. If even a 10th rank sea demon could be chased away, then this was probably the safest spot of the entire sea. He had underestimated the depth of the sea. He continued to sink for three whole days without reaching the bottom. He also had to summon the four-star battle armor to resist the pressure. On the fourth day, he finally had to use the green dragon battle armor. Otherwise, he would have been crushed by the pressure. When he summoned the green dragon battle armor, he clearly sensed the summoning intensify. He swam toward a certain direction. He finally saw it. It was a huge scale floating motionlessly. There was actually a vacuum around it that was many miles wide. Another dragon scale. Long Chen looked at it with shock. Sensing the incomparably pure bloodline power coming from it. His heart pounded. A white dragon scale. Could it be? An azure dragon's reverse scale. Novaloon.com Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. Legend said that when dragons were born, their scales were green. And so they were called green dragons. Green dragons were their form when they were young. As they grew. They eventually molted to become azure dragons. Their scales would become a silver white color. They were sometimes called white dragons or silver dragons. But their true name was azure dragons. The only thing remaining of a dragon's molting is its reverse scale. If I can refine it, then according to the dragon blood body tempering art, wouldn't I be able to summon the azure dragon battle armor? Thinking of that dragon might the scale had released that had forced a 10th rank sea demon to flee. Long Chen almost cried out in excitement. Once he refined the Azure Dragon Essence blood, wouldn't he be able to dominate the Central Plains? At that time, he would be able to search for his origins without fear. Long Chen slowly approached the Dragon Scale. It was a mile wide, but it was releasing a divine light that formed a vacuum several dozen miles wide around it. The Dragon Scale didn't resist as he approached. Instead, Long Chen sensed that it seemed to be drawing him closer. That delighted him. 
Could it be that this Azure Dragon Reverse Scale came from the same dragon as his Green Dragon Reverse Scale? Long Chen suddenly thought of that dragon expert from back then. It hadn't said much about itself. But looking at this Azure Dragon Scale, Long Chen thought of it. He thought of that endless starry sky he had seen. Long Chen shook his head, pushing aside those distracting thoughts. What he wanted was to take the Azure Dragon Scale right now. If he could control it, he would be unrevealed. Good. There's no resistance at all. Long Chen slowly got closer. He was extremely patient. Well, the main thing was that he had no choice but to be patient. If it could scare away even a 10th rank C demon, then killing him wouldn't take the slightest bit of effort for it. Although he sensed an intimate will from it, he didn't dare to be careless. Buzz. Fuck. No way. Long Chen suddenly found that when he reached the vacuum region, he was blocked. He wasn't able to enter. Long Chen smashed the vacuum with his fists. He slashed it with his saber, and he even used split the heavens. But that barrier didn't budge. Who cons people like this? Long Chen refused to give up. He not only used his thunder force, but he even used the earth flame. He even tried dripping his essence blood into the barrier and saw the essence blood being absorbed into the scale. That made Long Chen even more sure that this Azure Dragon Reverse Scale came from the same dragon as the Green Dragon Reverse Scale. However, after absorbing his essence blood, there wasn't much of a reaction. Long Chen tried it several times, but it was still useless. No good. I don't have the power to break this barrier. I can only leave it for later. Long Chen felt his spiritual Yuan rapidly running out. Right now, he had his four-star battle armor and green dragon battle armor on. The exhaustion was too much. If he didn't hurry and leave while he still had enough spiritual Yuan, he would be crushed alive. Although he was filled with helplessness, Long Chen could only return to the surface of the sea. All he could do was remember this location and wait until he was strong enough to get it. Haha, <laughs> boss, you're finally back. The flying boat has been repaired, so we can leave. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to see that Elder Sha actually gave control of the flying boat to Guo Ran. Guo Ran steered them away toward the central plains. Chapter 984 Arriving at the Zhuanshan Dao Sect Translator Born to be the Eastern Wasteland's disciples eventually woke up and saw that they were still alive. They almost wept tears of joy. Only once you walked past the brink of death would you know how beautiful life was. Even the Central Plains experts had never felt so close to death. When they awoke, Long Chen began to divvy up the loot. Wang Mang and the others all expressed that they wouldn't touch the ninth rank sea demons. They were all Long Chen's. Through this battle, they had all seen that Long Chen and his people would definitely release a blazing light once they arrived in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Wang Mang even expressed that he was willing to be Long Chen's subordinate. Although the ninth rank sea demons were extremely valuable, Wang Mang knew that no matter how great the wealth was, it wasn't worth more than forming a friendly relationship with a limitless potential genius. The latter would only increase in value. So no matter what Long Chen said, he refused to take the ninth rank sea demons. Long Chen gave up keeping the 9th rank sea demons corpses and needons, but he gave all the needons at the 8th rank and below to them. Wang Mang and the Eastern Wasteland's disciples couldn't refuse. When they evenly split the needons, they found that the huge amount of points they could trade them for would be enough for them to squander for a very long time. Points were the Zhuanshan Dao sect's tradition that was passed down all the way to the 108th monastery. Long Chen had personally experienced what it meant to possess points. If you had enough points, you could get anything. It had been many years, but now he was returning to that system. As he distributed the Needons, he intentionally probed Elder Shaw. After all, Elder Shaw had contributed a lot in slaying these sea demons. Furthermore, the flying boat had been heavily damaged. Although they had put in a hasty repair, once they returned to the sect, it would definitely cost a great deal to fully repair it. But Elder Shaw shook his head, saying that it wasn't in accordance with the rules. A disciple's profit was only for disciples. Furthermore, the flying boat was the property of the sect since he had only used it to carry out a mission. Then even if the boat was destroyed, it would have nothing to do with him. Elder Sha truly was inflexible. So Long Chen could only keep the Needons. The corpses of the powerful sea beasts were all given to Wild. He was the most excited one on the flying boat. The second most excited one was Guo Ran. He truly had some skill. By sucking up. He had actually won the privilege of operating the flying boat. Apparently, he had helped out a great deal to repair the flying boat. He was quick-witted and had obtained Elder Shah's recognition. And so he had taught him the way to control the flying boat. Guo Ran was in love with the flying boat now. He refused to leave the control panel. And Elder Shah simply left him there. 
Guo Ran's talent in this regard was truly impressive. In just a few days, his skill with the controls was impeccable. Even Elder Sha was startled by his talent. As a result, Guo Ran continued to operate the flying boat. It sped off, with Elder Sha occasionally telling Guo Ran about some upcoming twists and turns to avoid certain regions. Even Elder Sha had become much more careful after enduring such a terrifying battle. He didn't dare to make the slightest mistake with the route. Fortunately, they didn't run into any more dangers on the journey, and everything went smoothly. Long Chen asked Elder Sha to mark the spot he had found. After that, he began to deal with the Nidans. These Nidans were essentially all water attribute. Only the six horned sea serpent's Nidan was metal attribute, and that startled Long Chen. But Elder Sha said that the six horned sea serpent was different from ordinary sea demons. It possessed a powerful bloodline inheritance, similar to some humans. Just because it lived in water didn't mean its Nidan would definitely be water attribute. But over 90% of sea demons' Nidans were of water attribute. The metal attribute Nidan was given to the few dragon blood warriors with the right attribute. However, there weren't many metal attribute experts amongst them, because they had been able to make a choice when giving birth to an elemental energy. Choosing an element was extremely important. But no matter how heaven defying 10,000 spirit blood was, if their foundations weren't good enough, then the elemental energy it would birth wouldn't be pure. Rather than condensing an elemental energy, it was better to allow the 10,000 spirit blood to spread its energy to nourish the physical body, then it would form physical power runes. In truth, each of the dragon blood warriors liked this kind of feeling of absolute power. As a result, they only had a few elemental warriors. The water attribute warriors ended up profiting greatly, as they once more obtained several ninth rank Nidans. It could be said that Long Chen's side had profited the most. Long Chen had tried to give some things as compensation, but he had been refused. Long Chen didn't like owing favors, but Wang Mang and the others refused to take it. It was unknown what troubles they might encounter in the future, and Long Chen definitely couldn't just watch to the side. As they continued on their journey, Long Chen focused on nourishing the divine runes in his 27 acupuncture points. The first nine were already fully condensed, with the assistance of the divine runes. He sensed that Split the Heavens' power was already several times greater than before. And most mysterious of all, he felt a strange kind of energy supporting him when he used it. It was like a kind of blessing. He could sense it, but he wasn't able to describe it clearly. It was extremely mysterious. Split the Heavens, as the treasure of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, was perhaps not as simple as he had thought. There were definitely some secrets within, but Long Chen couldn't bother with those. With the first nine divine runes fully condensed, the first form of Split the Heavens would unleash more power than the second form. That gave him more confidence. In the first few days, Long Chen was unable to calm down and focus. That was because of the Azure Dragon reverse scale. His see a treasure and can't walk away disease was recurring. He reminded himself countless times that he would one day return and that the treasure wouldn't grow legs and run away. He understood that reasoning, but it still made him feel indescribably pained. After a few days, it was unknown if it was because that summoning was too far for him to sense or if his rationality had defeated his disease, but his heart was no longer so pained, and he began to use his time to cultivate. The others were also cultivating. Only Wild was hiding in a corner and eating. The sight of him eating was too frightening for others. Seeing Wild eat a few seventh rank sea demons each day shocked even Elder Shaw. He had never seen someone who could eat this much. Wild's stomach was practically a bottomless pit. In the end, Elder Shaw couldn't watch any longer. He gave Wild an oven, which was a special enchanted item that contained spatial power. It was extremely previous. It was what an expert could use to cook magical beasts. When magical beasts were tossed inside, their size would shrink until they were just a few feet long. After spending a few spirit stones, it was possible to cook it very quickly. But even a king would only be able to eat two or three bites of this compressed food. Because when the food began to be digested, it would return to its original size. If they ate too much, it would make a person explode. And for a mighty king to explode from eating too much was far too laughable. With this special oven, Wild no longer ate his food raw and bloody. He profusely said his thanks to Elder Shaw. Time passed quickly and two months were gone in a flash. At this moment, they finally saw the other side of the continent. Everyone, including Elder Shaw, breathed a sigh of relief. Just as Wang Mang said, there was no storm zone on the side of the central plains. It was no wonder the sea demons would only attack this side and not the other four regions. Those storm zones were the four regions' natural protections. 
Without them, they would probably have long since ceased to exist. In these two months, they encountered countless attacks from sea demons, but those consisted mostly of 7th rank sea demons with occasionally a few 8th rank. Everyone had learned their lesson. While being attacked by those sea demons, they didn't even curse back, let alone kill them. Last time had been too frightening. When the flying boat flew over the land, Elder Shah had Guoran released the barrier. Fresh air poured in, allowing everyone to relax. What dense natural spiritual key, exclaimed one of the Eastern Wasteland's disciples. The spiritual key was several times denser than the area covered by his sect's top spirit gathering formation. He, this is the strongest aspect of the central plains. The spiritual key is incredibly abundant. The martial heaven sea ring is like a barrier locking the central plains spiritual key inside, not letting it flow to the other four regions. So the central plains disciples have a huge advantage. Even when they're just babies in the womb, they will be nourished by this dense spiritual key and blessed with greater talent. Normally, they can reach key condensation before 5, reach bone forging by 10, and even those who reach Xi'anshan by 15 are not rare, said Wang Mang. Everyone was startled. They could reach Xi'anshan by the age of 15? That was too terrifying. They had all been in their 20s when they reached Xi'anshan. It had to be known that the start was very important for cultivators. It was like a race against time. The younger they broke through the barriers, the greater their potential. But they also couldn't let their foundations grow unsteady. Furthermore, once you enter the sect, you'll find many very young disciples. Furthermore, they're also very lively. Wang Mang bitterly smiled when he said that. HMPH, they just haven't been beaten enough. If they had met my boss, I bet they wouldn't be so lively, sneered Guo Ran. He wasn't convinced by all the praise he heard about the Central Plains geniuses. There's no need to be stubborn. Cultivation base isn't everything, and talent cannot change a person's fate. Cultivating is like climbing a mountain. Although those that climb quickly make people envious, they end up missing many sceneries. We climb slower, but we've also gained things that other people neglected. It's impossible to say who is losing and who is winning until both sides reach the peak. Everyone wants to work hard to reach the peak of the martial path. But just how high is the peak? No one can say for sure. So don't be envious. And don't admire them. If there is a gain, there must be a loss. And when you lose things, that's the only time you'll be able to gain certain things. The most forbidden emotion for those struggling on the martial path is envy. It will cause you to lose yourself and be unable to see further down your path said Long Chen. Elder Sha looked at Long Chen. He hadn't expected Long Chen to understand such principles at such a young age. It was no wonder the Dragonblood Legion was full of such monsters. They had all been led by Long Chen, someone who truly possessed the quality of a general. The flying boat continued onwards, and Long Chen quickly saw some huge constructions. Those were used to block the attacks of sea demons. It was also possible to see some people down below. They should be the guards. He saw layers and layers of defenses. It actually continued for thousands of miles. Once they passed this defensive zone, they reached a huge transportation formation. What startled Long Chen was the fact that the flying boat directly landed on the transportation formation, and it immediately activated. They continued like this for a while until they finally went through the final transportation formation. An empty land appeared in front of them. We've arrived. Hearing Wang Mang's words. Long Chen and the others hastily examined their surroundings. Even with Long Chen's calm, he took in a cold gasp of air. Chapter 985 Discrimination of the Other Regions Translator Born to be what? It's this exaggerated. There were huge mountains around them, all of their peaks piercing through the clouds. Three other huge flying boats were stopped on the empty land already. But those weren't the important point. The important point was that there were seas of people gathered in front of those flying boats. Hundreds of thousands of disciples were in front of the three flying boats. Some were sitting on the grass, some in small groups, some in groups of hundreds. Although they had long since been prepared, Long Chen and the others were deeply shaken. Hundreds of thousands of sea expansion experts were gathered here. That scene was shocking. When Guo Ran stopped the flying boat, hundreds of thousands of pairs of eyes looked their way. Those eyes were full of astonishment, because the flying boat Long Chen and the others were on was covered in huge cracks. It looked like it might break down at any moment. Elder Shaw, this is, an expert wearing elder robes walked over, looking at their flying boat in shock. Don't mention it. We were incredibly unlucky and almost lost our lives in the Eastern Sea. Elder Shaw was clearly familiar with him. He returned to his indifferent and cold self, bitterly smiling and shaking his head. 
That elder was tactful and didn't continue asking. But once Long Chen and the others walked off the boat, he nervously asked, Elder Sha, this is. That elder was clearly startled by how few people there were from the eastern wasteland. It's hard to explain. Don't ask. Elder Sha once more bitterly smiled. The other two elders also walked over and chatted a bit with Elder Sha. The four of them were clearly very familiar with each other. Speaking with those from the same generation as him, Elder Sha's expression wasn't as icy as before. How many disciples came in total? Asked Elder Sha. There are 876,000 from the other three regions. Adding your eastern wasteland's disciples, there's a total of 876,500, said the first elder. But even he smiled when saying this. All of them couldn't help but smile. This time, there were pitifully few disciples from the eastern wasteland. Although the eastern wasteland was always last place, it wasn't as exaggerated as this. The other region's disciples looked over. Some were curious, while some displayed their disdain. Some even made provoking gestures. As expected, it really is lively, sneered Guo Ran. Let it go. Is there a point in quibbling with children? It would be better for you to cough. You understand. Long Chen winked at Guo Ran. Ah, that's right. There's definitely going to be a few beautiful girls with this many people. Boss, let's go pick some up together Aya. Long Chen had been glaring at him as hard as possible, but this fool seemed to have gotten lost in that beautiful dream of his. As a result, he didn't see Long Chen's subtle gestures, and he was kicked by Tang Wan Er. You deserve it. What do I teach you normally? How can your thoughts be so dirty? I was clearly saying that you should exchange pointers with experts and figure out your weaknesses through greater experience. You can't waste the springtime of your youth. But why is your head always full of such nonsense? Long Chen scolded him righteously. Guo Ran wouldn't drag him down this time. Haha, <laughs> are all the children these days so lively? Laughed one of the elders. Contrary to Elder Sha, this person seemed extremely friendly. Lively? Yes, they are truly lively. Elder Sha bitterly smiled. After that huge battle, Elder Sha had thought about it. That ordinary bait they had launched out couldn't even draw over that many 7th rank sea demons, let alone 8th rank sea demons. Later, he had been able to privately ask Long Chen about this, but Long Chen refused to admit to anything. However, although Elder Sha was inflexible, he wasn't a fool. He knew this matter was definitely caused by him. Now that his peaceful life had returned, when he thought of how he had almost been killed because of Long Chen, he was speechless. But he did admire Long Chen, especially since in that dangerous crisis, he had gone out to face the 10th rank sea demon's pressure. Despite knowing that it was certain death, he didn't retreat a single step. That courage was something he admired, so he didn't try to get to the bottom of this matter. He was prepared to keep this secret forever. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, we have to leave and report on our mission. This is my address in the outer sect if you have any instructions. Please don't hesitate. Wang Mang handed Long Chen a jade plate which recorded his post. Thus, it would be easy to find him in the future. All right. Long Chen nodded. Wang Mang and the others respectfully bowed to Long Chen before leaving. They were delighted, feeling like they had been blessed. Why? Because other than the eastern wasteland, the other regions all had more newcomers than ever. Each one of them had over 200,000 disciples. They would have to spread their hunting profits amongst themselves. So it was uncertain whether any of them could get even a single Neden. Compared to them, Wang Mang and the others felt like a god had specially taken care of them. Seeing this, the other three elders were stunned. They couldn't understand why the senior disciples would address a newcomer as senior apprentice brother. Furthermore, they bowed so respectfully with passion and worship in their eyes. According to reason, the senior disciples were supposed to blunt the newcomer's arrogance, and the newcomers should be afraid of them. How did it end up reversed? This generation of disciples is amazing. Quite a few monstrous geniuses have appeared, and the senior disciples weren't able to fully intimidate them. Perhaps this generation of disciples will be the most difficult one to handle yet. The Zhuanshan Dao sect is about to be livelier than ever, said that friendly elder. What are you talking about? On your side, asked Elder Shaw. The senior disciples were beaten, and the intimidation didn't work very well. Who would have thought there'd be several rank 5 celestials appearing? The senior disciples were beaten in just one exchange. That's why you see them acting so arrogantly now. We'll have to pay special attention to them. Long Chen and the others heard the elders' words and were startled. Rank 5 celestials had actually appeared. It was just unknown if they were innate or acquired rank 5 celestials. If they were innate, then their combat power would be shocking. 
Those who could awaken as rank 5 celestials had to have even purer spirit blood. Long Chen, you should be careful. In all the previous generations, the disciples ended up with unending conflicts during the trials. All the youngsters have too much energy. Furthermore, with the discrimination of the other three regions, your eastern wastelands disciples. Well, you understand, said Elder Shaw. The eastern wastelands disciples were always the lowest in number and the weakest amongst the four regions. They were looked down upon by the other regions. Dogs from the eastern wasteland. Just at this moment, a group of people loudly shouted this phrase from the distance. The eastern wastelands disciples' expressions sank after hearing this naked insult. The dragonblood warriors also became a bit angry, killing intent surfacing within their eyes. They icily stared at that group. Ignore them. If you encounter them in the trials, just beat them to death. Remember, our dragonblood legion is a whole, and no matter what trouble erupts, I'll be there to handle it. If I can't handle it, then the worst case is that we'll all die together. Eighteen years later, we'll rise once more as a new group of young men, and we'll reform the dragonblood legion. We can die, but we won't submit to anyone. Understood, said Long Chen. Understood, shouted the dragonblood legion. They all understood this oath. They could die, but they couldn't lower their heads to anyone. The elders' expressions changed upon hearing this. Long Chen was like a wild horse that refused to be tamed. HMPH, a group of reckless fools. Did you think some stupid shouting could intimidate others? All it proves is that you're nothing more than dogs. A voice rang out from the group closest to them. The closest group came from the western desert. While the person speaking was holding a fan and wore a scholar's band, he truly did have a scholar's air but his gaze was a bit sinister. With a single glance, it was obvious he was a scheming person. Although this person hadn't released his aura, a faint pressure came from his body. He was a powerful rank 4 celestial. This person actually walked out of the crowd to face the eastern wastelands people. His insulting tone overflowed from his words, but the elders merely shook their heads with bitter smiles. Can we fight here? Asked Long Chen. Disciples can exchange pointers whenever they want, but killing is forbidden. As long as they're not dead, even crippling them is fine. It's the same as what I said on the way here, said Elder Shaw. This rule's not bad. Long Chen nodded. Report your name. Suddenly, Yu Zifeng walked out. Jeering and ridicule came from the crowds when they saw him. Ha ha ha. The eastern wasteland is getting worse and worse. Even trash that isn't even a celestial has muddled his way to the central plains. With just a glance, he's clearly a plebeian. He must have used money to bribe his way here. This kind of idiot is just a waste of resources. But that's also fine. Once he fails the trials, he won't waste the Zuanshan Deo sect's resources. He can become a worker. These people all sensed Yu Zifeng's fluctuations. He didn't have any heavenly Deo energy. Some people jeered at him, but some also felt sympathy for the eastern wasteland as the number of their people was pitifully low. It seemed only 500 had come. They felt that this fan holding man was being too much of a bully. I am Zi Wei. Z as in thank the heavens and the earth. Wei as shock the heavens and the earth. What? Are you pissing yourself from hearing my name? Sneered the fan holding man. Long Chen and Guo Ran both shook their heads. This kind of posing art without any skill or technique was practically an insult to their own posing arts. The reason I had you report your name is because my sword is never used against the nameless. His sword suddenly unsheathed, and a huge sword image sliced through the air. That sneering Z Wei smile instantly vanished. Chapter 986 How Can You Tell Translator? Born to be Golden Scale Shield, Zi Wei was a powerful expert and he didn't panic. He spread his hands, a golden shield appearing before him. That golden scale was formed of countless runes stacked against each other like scales. He was clearly a metal attribute expert. His defensive strength was far above average. But this golden shield was as weak as paper in front of Yu Zifeng's sword key. It was instantly cut through. Zi Wei was startled instinctively moving his head aside. The sword key struck his shoulder and continued down, cutting him in two. Blood splashed everywhere. Ah, only now did Zi Wei let out a miserable scream. It was unknown whether it was because of the pain, or because of terror, but his voice was exceedingly mournful. Yu Zifeng sheathed his sword, his expression cold. It was like this was nothing more than an insignificant event. He, he has reached the first level of mastery in sword intent, other than Elder Shaw. The other three elders were shocked. Even before entering the immemorial path, Yu Zifeng had condensed an embryonic form of his sword intent. Once he had left, through Ling Yanzi's pointers, he had comprehended the true essence of the sword Dao. This so-called sword intent was the will of the sword Dao. 
There were millions of people who used swords, but less than 1% were actually able to gain insight into the sword Dao. Only a few were able to firmly pledge their life to the sword and become a sword cultivator. Sword cultivators sacrificed all magical arts and battle skills that didn't focus on the sword Dao. Their specialization into the sword reached the point of rather dying than wavering. Only such people were qualified to be called sword cultivators. Furthermore, even amongst sword cultivators, over 99% of people were unable to comprehend the true will of the sword Dao. They were still dithering outside the sword Dao. Someone who could condense their own sword intent was a genius of the sword Dao. The most terrifying thing about Yu Zifeng's attack was that Zi Wei was unable to heal it. Even as he used his heavenly Dao energy to paste his body back together, his blood didn't stop pouring out of his injury. There was some kind of bizarre energy ruining his healing, rendering his heavenly Dao energy ineffective. Even Long Chen was shocked by this. The power of Yu Zifeng's sword Dao was so domineering as to suppress even heavenly Dao energy. It was no wonder Ling Yanzi would turn Yu Zifeng from a celestial into an ordinary cultivator. Within a sword cultivator's destructive power lay an indescribable, miraculous energy. Brother, you should change your name in the future. Your tool for carrying on your ancestral line has been completely crippled. Calling yourself Yang Wei would be more close-fitting. Call Guo Ran. He was truly evil to hit him while he was down. Guo Ran's words were an unshackable fact. That treasure used to carry out his ancestral line had been destroyed by Yu Zifeng. With the destructive power contained within his sword, that thing would probably never grow out again. Thinking of how he would be an incomplete man at such a young age, Zi Wei almost passed out from fury. But right now, he couldn't care about that. He was unable to heal. And if this continued, he would eventually die from blood loss. Normally, a cultivator could stop bleeding with just a thought. Just using some spiritual yuan to suppress it would be fine. But Yu Zifeng's attack had contained a destructive power that made a spiritual yuan useless. Elder, save me, cried Zi Wei. Sigh, young people shouldn't be so impetuous. That kind-hearted elder shook his head and waved his hand. A soft light enveloped Zi Wei. Zi Wei's injury instantly healed as Yu Zifeng's destructive power was completely erased by that light. However, unless Zi Wei ran into a miracle, he would be an incomplete man for the rest of his life. Many thanks, Elder. Zi Wei hastily bowed toward him. As soon as he finished bowing, he turned to Yu Zifeng, his face full of rancor. You bumpkins, how dare you sneak attack me while my guard was down? Truly shameless. Calling you dogs is praising you. You're just a group of pigs. No one had expected that a grand rank 4C expansion celestial would actually burst into curses after losing. Even the four elders' expressions sank. How could one of the Grand Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples spout obscenities like a crazy man on the street? Clean out your mouth. I don't care how much shit you've eaten, but don't randomly spout it at people. Otherwise, you won't see tomorrow's sunrise. Rage Guo Ran. Maliciously killing people is against the rules. You will immediately be expelled. Shouted Elder Shaw. The punishment is just being expelled. Long Chen's eyes brightened. That made Elder Shaw have a bad feeling. And as expected, Long Chen shouted. Brothers, if anyone provokes you, don't worry about holding back. In any case, Celestials won't die so easily. And if they do die, we just have to leave and make our own living in the Central Plains. With power, wouldn't we have enough to eat no matter where we go? It's over. Elder Shah regretted opening his mouth. He had been trying to intimidate them. But instead, he had just made the rules clear to them. They would probably be even more unrestrained than ever. He saw many of the Dragonblood warriors clenching their weapons. Cold light shining in their eyes. It was like they were leopards eyeing their prey. Brother Zifeng, you can go kill that fake man first. This time, cut him into eight pieces. Shouted Guo Ran. As if worried things weren't chaotic enough. Yu Zifeng slowly reached for the sword on his back. Causing Zi Wei's expression to completely change. He hastily retreated into the crowd. Eastern Wasteland people, don't go too far. A cold shout rang out from the western desert side. A large man walked over. He was extremely tall, with his long hair bound to the back of his head. He wore a waistcoat and straw sandals, and his skin was a deep bronze color. His aura wasn't revealed, but his gaze was electric. I dare to bet that he is an earth attribute expert. Guo Ran closely examined the large man. How can you tell? Song Mingguan and Li Qi couldn't help but ask. Although they had their suspicions as well, they weren't as sure as Guo Ran. Just look at how dirty his aura is. It's obvious, said Guo Ran. What the fuck? Song Mingguan and Li Qi were speechless. Guo Ran was becoming more and more shameless. 
The two of them had been duped. As Earth Attribute Experts, the two of them were extremely sensitive to Earth Attribute fluctuations. But this large man had something that isolated him from their senses, so they couldn't be sure. Don't go too far? Don't you think it's satirical for such words to come out of your mouth? From the start, it was your people provoking us, said Long Chen indifferently. Although this dirty large man seemed like a farmer who had just left the fields, Long Chen could sense he was a terrifying earth attribute expert. The reason his aura wasn't revealed was because it was practically merged with the earth. That was a powerful realm. Once he fought, the earth's energy would erupt and aid him. Furthermore, Long Chen sensed another dislikable aura, the will of the heavenly deos, and it was extremely intense. Long Chen was sure he was a rank 5 celestial. HMPH. The weak don't have the qualifications to cry. People sneer at you because the Eastern Wastelands branch sect is always trash. Who do you have to blame? Each time, your side has the lowest number of people, and they're always the weakest. You're trash, but you don't want others to call you trash? That just makes you even greater trash. Ziwei's confidence grew with that large man's support, and he began to curse at Long Chen. Your mouth really is disgusting. No wonder Guo Ran said you eat shit. Long Chen shook his head. He slowly extended a hand. Pow. Everyone's vision blurred, and they seemed to hear a clap of thunder. Long Chen suddenly appeared right beside Zi Wei and slapped him across the face. The sound was resounding and clear, but within that clear sound was a pain snort, as well as the sound of bones breaking. Zi Wei shot back. It seemed that Zi Wei didn't have good relationships with people. No one moved to catch him as he shot past them. Instead, they all moved out of his way, and Zi Wei face planted into the ground. Seeing that, quite a few people felt sympathy for him. Zi Wei's jaw was broken. Although they hadn't personally experienced his pain, their own jaws tingled. Zi Wei fell unconscious from the pain, not even having time to recover. The four elders shook their heads. Zi Wei was truly trash. After losing, he started cursing wildly without end. For him to faint after just suffering a bit of pain, the only thing that could be said was that he had been spoiled rotten and had never experienced any true life and death battles. Otherwise, no matter how much pain you felt, you wouldn't faint. If you were on the battlefield when that happened, you'd have died a hundred times. Brat, you're courting death. The large, dirty man roared and the ground began to shake. Earth energy surged toward him, and he seemed like a volcano about to erupt. All the disciples' expressions changed and they retreated. Long Chen stood with his hands clasped behind him, icily staring at the dirty man. Those who tell me I'm courting death have pretty much all died. If you don't believe me, you can try it. The other disciples were all startled. This newcomer from the eastern wasteland was this confident. Some of them had been sympathizing with Long Chen and the others over being bullied. But now seeing him display such a domineering attitude, they jumped in shock. Facing this infuriated opponent, Long Chen was completely indifferent. His long hair and black robes danced in the wind, making him appear more handsome than ever. Most moving of all were his clear eyes. That seemingly thin body with its domineering eyes was a powerful visual that caused some women's hearts to sway. The large man's aura continued to rise until the sound of a bell rang out. Heaven and earth turned silent, and a voice rang out within that silence. Everyone, the disciple selection is about to start. Chapter 987 Hanging and Beating Someone in the Air Translator Born to be that crystal clear voice had come from a woman. Everyone hastily looked over to see a group of people walking over. The person at the front was a woman in green robes. She had a beautiful face and figure, and she lightly walked across the ground, giving off a feeling of having merged with heaven and earth. It was a natural and refreshing feeling, as if she was an elf who had walked out of the forest. A wood attribute expert, Long Chen was startled. This woman's aura was very similar to Chu Yao's. It contained boundless life energy. Behind her was a group of men and women. They all wore white robes and gave off a transcendental feeling. Long Chen and the others knew this was a Dao charm formed from cultivating the Zhuanshan Dao sect's specific cultivation techniques. This aura was similar to the elders. It went without saying that this kind of aura made people feel exceptionally relaxed. It was something pleasing to the eye and heart. These people were all foundation forging experts, and the first thing they did was bow toward the four elders. What Long Chen and the others didn't understand was that the four elders returned a slight bow. The green-robed woman looked at Long Chen and the large man who were about to fight. Go back to your camps. The trial is about to start. Her voice was soft and gentle without any arrogance. It was like a big sister advising a junior brother. Long Chen nodded and returned. Long Chen might not have said anything, but the large man was unwilling. 
Long Chen had caused him to lose face, and he shouted, Brat, taste one of my fists. The ground beneath his feet suddenly became covered with runes. Everyone was shocked, as the aura of his attack was shocking. He hadn't needed to gather any energy at all before launching such a powerful attack. Long Chen frowned. Was this idiot's head also dirt? Did he think that he was going back to his side because he was afraid of him? He was just about to attack when the ground split open and countless vines shot out at the large man. He let out a startled cry and hastily fell back. But it was too late. Those vines instantly bound him and raised him in the air. No matter how he struggled, those vines didn't budge. I've heard that youngsters have violent tempers. Looks like it's true. How about I help you restrain yourself a bit? The green-robed woman smiled slightly, a teasing light in her eyes. Trifling vines. Don't think you can bind me, Yan Machen. Great earth and armor, roared the large man, runes lighting up on his body. Everyone's gazes became odd. No matter how long they waited, the earth and armor never appeared. Did you forget your armor at home? Asked Guo Ran. Idiot. His head really is full of dirt. With his feet off the ground, this senior apprentice sister has severed his connection to the ground. What can he possibly summon? Li Qi shook his head. He and Song Mingyuan were also earth attribute experts, so they were profoundly aware of their fatal weak points. They couldn't leave the ground. While crossing the sea, the two of them had been on edge the entire time. Without the support of the earth, they had been nervous. The two of them hadn't participated in the battle over the sea. This woman was clearly taking advantage of his weakness by keeping him hanging in the air. He was easily bound. As for summoning some great earth and armor, that was clearly impossible. Wood spirit binding. A faint smile appeared on the woman's lips. The vines around Yan Machen's body instantly tightened. The chilling sound of bones breaking rang out. A-H-H. -H. Yan Machen let out a miserable cry. The vines had actually crushed his bones and were continuing to compress. It felt like they were trying to crush him to death. Everyone cringed. This green-robed woman looked so kind and friendly, but in the blink of an eye, she became a devil. She was so ruthless that it inspired disbelief. That faint smile on her lips made it seem like she was very happy. The four elders were used to this and didn't react at all. They just indifferently watched. As for the men and women behind the green-robed woman, they had mocking smiles. Some of them even covered their mouths and stealthily laughed. Heavens, this big sister is so strong. This person has become much more slender, said Tang Wanur. Long Chen rolled his eyes. He isn't losing weight. He's losing form. It's the same as a person's bun being squeezed into noodles. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Yan Machen was squeezed to the point that he was 50% taller than before. He was truly much more slender. But this body sculpting progress made people quiver. His pain cries and the sound of bones breaking continued to ring out. They looked toward Long Chen. If only Yan Machen possessed Long Chen's eyesight, he wouldn't have ended up in such a miserable plight. Senior apprentice sister, spare me. Junior disciple was wrong. Yan Machen finally apologized. He now understood that while he could call himself hegemon of the western desert, he wasn't even dog shit in front of the experts from the previous generation. Not all the senior disciples were as weak as the ones who had greeted them. Now he had learned his lesson. If you had said that earlier, wouldn't it have been much better the green-robed woman smiled warmly, once more becoming like a big sister. But this time, no one was tricked by her smile. They were all on guard now, within the Zhuanshan Dao sect. No matter what, they couldn't try to be posers, especially not in front of the elite senior disciples. Otherwise, the results would be incomparably miserable. The vine slowly released Yan Machen, but once he was released, everyone was shocked to see he wasn't the slightest bit injured. Furthermore, his body hadn't changed at all. It was like his previous appearance had been an illusion. What terrifying healing capabilities, exclaimed Men Qi. Long Chen nodded. Yan Machen was a rank 5 celestial. Just now his bones had been completely crushed and his body had changed form. Such heavy injuries would take at least a few hours to fully recover with heavenly Dao energy. But when that green-robed woman released him, he was silently and instantly healed. Boss, how about you seduce her to our side? Then we Tang Wan Er sent a kick toward Guo Ran. But even before he was kicked, Long Chen had tightly covered Guo Ran's mouth. Little Guo Z, are you trying to get me killed? Don't make such jokes, or someone will die for it, whispered Long Chen through clenched teeth. Guo Ran acted regardless of the law or the heavens. But even if he didn't care about the law or even the heavens, what about this boss of his? He couldn't just con him like this. The green-robed woman could capture Yan Machen with a wave of her hand. 
Long Chen didn't dare to fight her right now as that was just asking to be beaten. After this painful lesson, Yan Ma Chen behaved much better. He bowed toward the green-robed woman and returned to his camp. But before leaving, he raised a fist at Long Chen. His meaning was clear. Just wait, my fist will smash you sooner or later. Long Chen ignored him, but Guo Ran also raised his fist. His central finger raised high, a disdainful expression on his face. All right, everyone calm down, said the green-robed woman. She intentionally looked toward Long Chen's side, causing him and Guo Ran to become a bit guilty. They quickly put on a listening posture. First, let me introduce myself. I am Mu Kingsuan. You can call me Senior Apprentice Sister Kingsuan, or you can just directly call me Big Sister Zuan. It doesn't really matter, because I'm very easy to talk to. Ten years ago, I stood where you stand and listened to the Senior Disciples' teachings. Now, ten years later, I'm reminded of that time as I look at all of you. To tell the truth, I'm very happy and very excited, said Mu Kingsuan emotionally. Everyone was speechless. She was happy right now. So she had only crushed Yan Ma Chen so badly. If she were unhappy, just what kind of state would she have crushed him into? Mu Kingsuan continued, Don't blame me for being violent. There's no way around it. Because if I didn't kill a chicken to warn the monkeys, you wouldn't calmly listen to my words. Yan Ma Chen's expression changed. He felt hatred, but he didn't dare to hate Mu Kingsuan. So he hated Long Chen. He was sure that Long Chen had seen through some clues which was the only reason why he had retreated without a word. As a result, he had been the one to foolishly jump into the trap. Mu Kingsuan's words were very clear. Without beating someone, no one else would listen to her seriously. Even if Yan Ma Chen and Long Chen had avoided this trap, others would have been used as examples. But Yan Ma Chen was the unlucky one. I understand you all too well. I still recall how I felt when I first arrived at the Zuan Chen Dao sect proud, arrogant, unwilling to submit as if I was unrevealed beneath the heavens. Back then, people in my group were also beaten. He, back then I was smart and didn't get beaten. Mu Kingsuan smiled as she fell back into her memories. Everyone was speechless. They stealthily looked toward Yan Ma Chen and saw that his face was as ugly as a pig's. The previous matter was to tell you all a principle. Children who don't behave will suffer, while children who do listen will get sweets as rewards. So, listen carefully to my words because I don't like to repeat myself, said Mu Kingsuan a bit gravely, causing everyone's hearts to shake. They hastily began to listen with rapt attention. Chapter 988 All-Encompassing Translator Born to be before the trial begins, you'll need to register. That's right, you didn't miss here, said Mu Kingsuan Noveloon.com Everyone thought they had misheard since they had already registered before coming here. Why did they have to register again? Your previous registration was just your name but the registration you're about to do is all-encompassing. Your talent and qualifications will all be recorded in the Zuanshan Dao sect's library, which will be very beneficial to you. The Zuanshan Dao sect will give you special care depending on your talent, and even if you fail the trials, if a certain aspect of your talent is worthwhile to the Zuanshan Dao sect, you can still join the sect. Our Dao sect raises its disciples in line with the disciples' abilities. The goal is to bring out the disciples' potential and raise them into various specialties. That's different from your branch sects. Mu Kingsuan intentionally looked over at Long Chen and the others as she continued. Because your various branch sects weren't strong enough, there was no way for them to raise special disciples. But in the Central Plains, that kind of thing is of no problem. It seems our Eastern Wastelands branch sect was the poorest of them all. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Just from the other three regions' disciples' scornful gazes, it was possible to see that it was the eastern wasteland that was as poor as a dog. Was this the basis for their disdain toward Long Chen and the others? Everyone looked toward the eastern wasteland's group of 500. The other groups had hundreds of thousands of people, so their small group appeared especially conspicuous. Quite a few people had sympathetic expressions, but there were many more expressions of disdain. It was like staring at the eastern wasteland's disciples could rapidly increase their own superiority and pride. Long Chen ignored them. In his eyes, these people were nothing more than children who had been spoiled rotten. They didn't know the hardships of life, nor did they know what respect and gratitude were. Mu Kingsuan continued, The Zuanshan Dao sect has many specialties, from forging, refining, magical arts, formations, talismans, etc. In total, there are 360 specialties for you to choose from. Whether you are a body cultivator, magical art cultivator, soul cultivator, 
Sword cultivator, spirit cultivator, no matter what you cultivate, the Zhuangshan Dao sect has countless tomes for you to study. The Zhuangshan Dao sect has divine items protecting it known as the Reincarnation Mirror and Zhuangshan Tower. The Reincarnation Mirror will allow you to study the priceless Zhuangshan Catalog, which will allow you to use the Dao to peer into the heavens and cultivate to the point of being a god or an immortal. Here, as long as you have the talent, you definitely won't be overlooked. Horses dislike narrow paths, and the Great Peng hates the heavens for being too low. But whether you are a horse or a Peng, in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, you will have limitless room for growth. Mu Kingsuan's words rolled off her tongue smoothly. They were passionate and moving, causing hundreds of thousands of disciples to feel as if their blood was boiling. I almost believe her. Long Chen laughed. What? Did she say something wrong? Asked Tang Wan Er. No, what she said is true. But that reincarnation mirror, Zhuangshan Tower, Zhuangshan Catalog, it won't have anything to do with us. Just watch. She'll quickly explain, said Long Chen. As if cooperating with Long Chen, Mu Kingsuan said, However, these resources are the foundation of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, not everyone can enjoy them. Before setting your sights on obtaining these dreamlike resources, you should first get some smaller goals. For example, don't fail the upcoming trials. A chortle escaped Tang Wan Er, and she hastily covered her mouth. This scoundrel Long Chen really had seen through Mu Kingsuan's words. That final turn in her words was like a harsh slap in the face to bring everyone back to reality. Seeing everyone's startle gazes and adding on Long Chen's accurate prediction, Tang Wan Er couldn't hold back her laughter. To put it simply, within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, there is an ocean's worth of resources. It most likely far surpasses your imagination. So talking too much about it is useless. The only reason why I bring it up is for your own motivation. I hope you'll work hard so you don't live a life of regret. This world has its own rules, and they are bloody and cruel. Resources are things the strong have to work hard to get, while the weak can only watch others eat, or perhaps end up getting eaten by the strong. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is no exception, so if you want to get special care here, don't hold back. That's all I'll say, so let's start the registration. The disciples behind Mu Kingsuan got to work. Everyone was surprised to see them set up a formation. The land shook, and runes appeared in the air. A huge platform appeared with dozens of pieces of equipment. It was unknown what those pieces of equipment did. Everyone, pay attention. When your name is called, hurry onto the platform. If no one comes after being called three times, it will be seen as giving up on the trial. You'll have to bear the consequences, shouted a man holding a thick book. The Southern Seas branch sects Shi Yichuo. A man immediately ran out of the Southern Seas group. Looking at that man, People almost laughed when they thought of his name. His name really matches him. Long Chen was almost speechless. That person wasn't very tall, but he was wider than he was tall. He was like a ball of meat as he waddled his way forward. Long Chen, you're being disgusting, scolded Tang Wan Er. What are you talking about? I think the person who associates him with certain things would be the truly disgusting one, laughed Long Chen. You, Wan Er, you can't beat him. He's evil, so you'll always lose said Men Qi somewhat helplessly. Tang Wan Er would lose essentially every time she sparred words with Long Chen. Then physically, she was unable to injure him. HMPH, Long Chen, don't think I can't handle you. If you bully me again, I'll, I'll, I'll beat Guo Ran. Tang Wan Er was in the midst of wondering how to threaten Long Chen when she suddenly saw Guo Ran laughing evilly. TCH, do you think I'm scared? So what if I bully you? Long Chen immediately took an attitude of being unafraid of heaven or earth. Aya, Guo Ran let out a miserable cry as he was kicked by Tang Wan Er. HMPH, you dare to beat my brother, raged Long Chen. Ah, sister-in-law, no, big sister Wan Er, please stop, Guo Ran cried while covering his head. Tang Wan Er, if you really have the ability, then just go ahead and beat him to death. Do you think I'll surrender just like this, said Long Chen. I don't believe I can't subdue you. Tang Wan Er increased her power. Damn it. Stop. Don't think I don't see that the two of you are doing this on purpose. Aya, they shouted my name. Guo Ran hastily escaped from Tang Wan Er's clutches. The announcer had just called out his name. You two are both evil. Sighed Men Qi. Guo Ran had been treated unjustly. Sister Men Qi, the two of them are always colluding. Especially that Guo Ran. He keeps telling Long Chen to seduce more women. Cried Tang Wan Er. Aggrieved. Correct. Beating him is simply the right thing. He's becoming more and more unbridled. He wanted me to go seduce others right in front of you? 
He's clearly trying to disturb our peace, cried Long Chen righteously. Hey, why do your words sound so off? So if we weren't here, you could discuss how to seduce women, demanded Tang Wan'er. Cough, that's nothing more than a misunderstanding. Oh, look, Guo Ran's starting to register, said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er wasn't so easily distracted, and she was just about to pursue his slip of the tongue when Men Qi grabbed her hand and shook her head. Only then did Tang Wan'er notice many people were staring at them oddly. There were even some men staring at Long Chen with envy that they didn't bother to mask. She realized she had already brought Long Chen more enemies without knowing it. Sticking out her tongue, she kept silent. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were peerless beauties who were outstanding even amongst the hundreds of thousands of disciples. In the cultivation world, beautiful women were a sign of a man's status, especially the kind of woman that was both beautiful and powerful. They would be pursued by countless experts. The Eastern Wastelands group was already so conspicuous due to their numbers. Thus, their little scuffle had drawn countless people's attention. Seeing Men Qi and Tang Wan'er standing so close to Long Chen, displaying that their relationship wasn't ordinary, countless people became envious. There's no need to pay attention to them, nor do you need to have misjivings. Wan'er, you are Tang Wan'er. You can do whatever you want to do, even if the heavens collapse. I will be there to hold them up for you. Their envy just means that you're beautiful. I like it when others are envious of me but also can't do anything to me, laughed Long Chen. Although a great portion of his words were just a joke, they also contained love and pampering that moved Tang Wan'er's heart. Inside, Long Chen truly did love her, and he wouldn't let her suffer the slightest grievance. He would rather deal with trouble than have her act restrained. Thank you, Long Chen, said Tang Wan'er warmly. No need to thank me. If you act this warmly to me, I'll be too embarrassed to seduce other women, laughed Long Chen. You, you scoundrel. Tang Wan'er's fury immediately resurfaced, her previous warmth vanishing. Good, just stay in this state. Once Guo Ran returns, we can continue, praised Long Chen, giving her a thumbs up. Comma just as they were talking, Guo Ran appeared in front of the platform, but there were still three people in front of him, so he had to wait a bit. The registration was in batches of ten and Guo Ran was the last of his batch. Finally, the first nine were finished and it was his turn. After registering his name, he went onto the platform. Each piece of equipment had a person in charge of it. Open your mouth, said a woman. Guo Ran couldn't believe his ears. Sounds like pile of poop. Think of the emoji. Chapter 989 Not even a celestial translator. Born to be what? Guo Ran couldn't believe his ears. I asked you to open your mouth. The woman repeated. To test if he had misheard, Guo Ran only opened his mouth a bit. He didn't understand what this was for. A bit bigger. Ah, uh, not that big. I can see the inside of your stomach like this. I just need to check your teeth and throat. After the examination of his mouth, Guo Ran continued forward. Even as he went on to the second examination, he didn't understand what the first examination was for. But he quickly realized what it was when the female examiner asked the disciple after him. Hmm. An ancient race disciple? From which race? The blood scale race. This disciple was a woman wearing blood red robes. A scarlet scale with the size of a fingernail could be seen on her forehead. Her face was beautiful, and her body was exceptionally moving. Even people from the ancient races could join the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. He was already completely hostile with the ancient races, and he didn't know how that would affect the future. The woman registering her wasn't surprised. She registered her as such and moved on. Long Chen saw over 30 people handling the registration. In other words, each person had to go through over 30 examinations, and each one involved different things. The first one was the most simple. First it was the name, then the race, bone age, spirit root, spirit blood, power, soul energy, etc. Each examination was strict with tools specially designed for it. There was no way to cheat, other than these quantifiable variables. There were other things as well. For example, they would ask the new disciples about their personal strengths, ideologies, their requirements for partners, etc. When asked about his personal strengths, Guo Ran replied that he was a forging master. That made the senior disciple a bit moved. But when asked about his ideology, that senior disciple directly coughed up blood. Guo Ran's response was that his ideology was to be a poser. But Guo Ran's spirit root was dark gold grade which made the senior disciple not inside. However, when he then tested his physical strength, he became speechless. His constitution was incredibly weak and unsuited to battle. However, 
He was only in charge of recording this information. How the Dao sect handled it was their own matter. Nevertheless, none of them had seen a marvel like Guo Ran. In truth, Guo Ran's talent was something created by Long Chen piling a mountain of resources onto him. Guo Ran didn't walk the normal path, so these people naturally couldn't understand him. Through this, Long Chen saw that they split spirit roots into five grades. Bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, and violet gold. Spirit blood was graded according to its density and split into Wang, Zuan, Earth, and Heaven tires. These four tires were most commonly used in this world. The majority of people's spirit blood was at the lowest Wang tier. Even Guo Ran was the same. But the Wang tier was also split into three levels. And he had the high Wang tier spirit blood. However, his spirit blood had no attribute. And to put it frankly, it had almost no use. So it made these senior disciples feel like it was a waste of talent. Other than spirit blood and spirit root, there was another test for the elemental attribute. This was also split into four tires like the spirit blood. Previously, one of the dragon blood warriors had been called up. He was an earth attribute expert, but his earth energy was only mid Wang tier. But in the other regions, there were many disciples with high Wang tier elemental energy, and some even had mid Zuan tier ones as well. That made Long Chen see the difference. The dragon blood legion was composed of experts he had spent his blood, sweat, and tears to build. Countless resources had been piled onto them for them to reach their current level. But here, the dragon blood warriors could only count as above average. As for the other disciples from the eastern wasteland, they were the bottom padding cannon fodder. Long Chen could see their helplessness and dejection. Violet gold spirit root, high earth tier spirit blood, and mid earth tier water energy. Heavens, a rank 5 celestial, Shao Ziyan. Right now everyone was paying attention to the registration. Only through paying attention to the result was it possible to tell who the peak experts of the four regions were. This woman from the Southern Sea immediately became the center of attention. Her spirit root, spirit blood, elemental energy, and celestial rank were all top level amongst those who had been tested. What terrifying talent. Tang Wan'er was shocked. This was her first time seeing a rank 5 celestial. Looking at her beautiful appearance, she warned, Long Chen, you're not allowed to seduce her. Otherwise, I'll never forgive you. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. He had an urge to cry. Sister, you must be overestimating me. Even if I wanted to seduce her, who knows if she'd look favorably upon me. Hmm. True. She's a rank 5 celestial with countless pursuers. As for you, you aren't even first rank. Tang Wan Er nodded. It seemed just being handsome was useless in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Are you cursing me for having no class? Long Chen's expression darkened. Haha. <laughs> no. No. You're overthinking things, laughed Tang wan -er. If they weren't in a public place, Long Chen would have definitely given her a fierce bite. People were constantly being named and going up to register. However, it was unknown how they were picked. Without following a set order, everyone had to lend an ear. Boss, I'm back. Guo Ran came over excitedly. A new jade plate on his waist. Long Chen, do you submit? Tang wan -er cried suddenly. Long Chen was first startled. But then he realized Tang Wan'er was looking for an excuse to put Guo Ran away. The little fellow had committed a grievous crime by encouraging him to seduce women right in front of her. Just as Long Chen was wondering whether he should continue conning Guo Ran or not, Guo Ran raised his hands innocently and cried, Sister Wan'er, I was wrong. Please spare Junior Disciple. Junior will never dare to do the same thing again. Seeing this, Tang Wan'er felt bad for him and reserved herself a bit as well. What's this thing used for? This energy, it's just like, Long Chen looked at the jade plate Guo Ran was holding. It's like a photographic jade. I guess it should be a monitoring tool. While wearing it, your every move and action will be viewed by others, said Men Qi. Ah, are they treating us like criminals? Asked Guo Ran. Men Qi shook her head. It should be for everyone's safety so that disciples don't try to pull any tricks and kill each other. Men Qi glanced at Long Chen with worry. Don't worry. A well-behaved person like me doesn't like fighting and killing. I will use kindness to win others over, said Long Chen with a bashful smile. Let alone Men Qi and Tang Wan Er, even Guo Ran rarely gave Long Chen such a disdainful look. Boss, first, let's not talk about whether or not I'd believe you, but do you believe yourself? Long Chen hadn't expected him to undermine him like this. He raged. People are all capable of change. Didn't I refrain from killing anyone for many months? The dragon blood warriors nodded. Long Chen truly hadn't killed anyone. After all, there hadn't been anyone to kill on the way here. Fine, 
I admit my words were a bit exaggerated, so that my good wife Menki doesn't get worried. Starting today, I will become someone who subdues others through kindness, swore Long Chen. Well, do your best then. Taking it easier is good, comforted Menki. She didn't want to change Long Chen, but she did hope for a more peaceful life. This point was a bit different between men and women. Men wanted stimulation, but while women also liked stimulation, they would also feel worry and fear. Don't worry, I'll take it a bit easier. Long Chen nodded. He knew Men Qi only said this for his own good, as his current killing intent was indeed too strong. He had killed too many people in the immemorial path and eastern wasteland. Once he fought others, his killing intent would erupt instinctively. Men Qi hoped he would reserve himself and use his rationality to suppress his desire for slaughter. She didn't want his desire for killing to overpower his rationality. Last time, with her advice, Long Chen had decided not to exterminate the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path. However, she was worried Long Chen would return to that cruel path bit by bit as he was forced by external pressure. So she took great pains to warn him. Seeing that Long Chen could still open-mindedly accept her opinion in front of everyone, she was gratified. Long Chen was still the old Long Chen. His original heart hadn't changed which was the most gratifying thing for her. The Eastern Wasteland's Yu Zifeng. When Yu Zifeng walked up, quite a few people let out startled cries. He's actually not a celestial. When they tested his heavenly Deo energy, the testing device didn't light up at all. This was something even more shocking than the rank 5 celestial. If he wasn't even a celestial, how could he possess such power? Previously, he had almost killed a rank 4 celestial in one blow. Later, Zi Wei's jaw had been broken by Long Chen causing him to lose face. However, Ziwei had already been tested. He was a rank 4 celestial with a dark gold spirit blood and Mitsuan tier metal energy. He was clearly a powerful expert, but such a strong person had almost been killed in one blow by Yu Zifeng. Many people thought Yu Zifeng had been hiding his power and was actually a terrifying rank 5 celestial. But now that the truth revealed itself, everyone was shocked. They were unable to accept this result. Congratulations Junior Apprentice Brother. The Zhuanshan Deo sect's gates are already open for you. Suddenly, Mu Kingsuan's voice rang out, causing quite a few people's eyes to turn red. Chapter 990 Heaven Tier Soul Energy Translator Born to be what? People immediately began to raise issues with what Mu Kingsuan said. It sounded like she was saying Yu Zifeng could enter the Zhuanshan Deo sect without going through the trials. Many people were dissatisfied with that. Mu Kingsuan smiled slightly and said, because there is a rule within the Zhuanshan Deo sect. Disciples with special skills can get special treatment. Why does he meet that standard but not us? How is he special? I don't see anything special about him. And if you don't tell us, it'll be equivalent to him cheating. Raged a disciple. That disciple had just registered. He was a rank 4 celestial with a dark gold spirit root. His other aspects were also excellent. And most importantly, he was only 18 years old. He could truly be described as a genius with limitless prospects. Back then, he had shocked quite a few people. However, even he didn't meet the standard. With his talent and his illustrious status, his words were a bit overbearing. The ground suddenly erupted and a huge vine bound him in a flash, rendering him without the slightest ability to resist. I don't care what status you had in the branch sect the Central Plains is not the same place, and you'll have to follow our rules. If you have any objections toward the trial procedure, you can politely ask and we will explain it clearly for you. If you still object, you can go to the elders hall for arbitration. But before doing that, the first precondition is that you are a disciple of the Zhuanshan Deo sect and right now, you're not. Your conduct has disturbed the proper flow of the trial. Your words are excessive, and you've insulted the Zhuanshan Deo sect's sacred rules. With my authority as the one in charge of the trial, I strip you of your qualifications to participate in the trial. You will be taken into temporary custody, and once the trial is over, you will be sent out of the Zhuanshan Deo sect, said Mu Kingsuan coldly. Wait, no, you can't do this, shouted that disciple. He hadn't expected that just questioning her would result in such a heavy punishment. I can do this because your words insulted the Zhuanshan Deo sect's rules. That is a lack of trust in the sect, and since you have no trust, you can go and find something else to trust in the Central Plains, said Mu Kingsuan. After saying that, she ignored him and said to the other disciples, Rules are rules. They can't be changed. So don't regret your decisions. The Zhuanshan Deo sect's inheritance stretches back hundreds of thousands of years. There are countless heavenly geniuses within it. 
and they all have to follow the rules. Don't think that you are above the rules. If you really were strong enough, you'd have long since ascended and never come here. Since you aren't strong enough, then be better behaved. To give you all a good start, I've given you more face than what the last generation has given me. But if others want to take advantage of my kindness, I won't be so kind to them. Continuing where I left off, Yu Zifeng meets the standards to be a special elite disciple. Let me just reiterate that this special elite disciple refers to someone who has reached a pinnacle in one aspect. That's why we ask you about your interests and personal strengths during this registration. If you meet the standards, you can also become a special elite disciple. The people here registering you are all disciples from the previous generation. They are your senior apprentice brothers and senior apprentice sisters. They take their work seriously, and before accepting this mission, they swore to carry out their duty with fairness. If they went against that oath, their cultivation base would never advance an inch ever again. So that person's suspicion was an insult to the Deo sect and us. Once you join the Deo sect, you'll understand how insignificant you currently are. So I'd advise you to cast aside your arrogance and maintain a humble, grateful heart. That will be much better for you. Let the registration continue. Mu Kingsuan's long chiding caused everyone's hearts to shake. With how amicable she had been, quite a few people had forgotten Yan Machen's lesson. Now another person had fallen into that trap. His dejected appearance was another alarm bell to them. They had to act properly, or they would also suffer miserably. If that disciple's tone had been a bit better, he wouldn't have landed in such a miserable strait. But this couldn't be blamed on Mu Kingsuan. Some people just refused to give face without a harsh lesson. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, I'm very special too. Yes, I'm very, very special. Have a look for yourself, cried Guo Ran. Everyone was startled. Did he not want his life? Or was he trying to get kicked out? His predecessor was still right there. I've already looked over your registration. Your specialty is forging. But it is a broad category and forging is not a rare profession. So no matter how high your forging arts are, you won't be able to become a special elite disciple. But if you pass the trial, you can join the forging hall and you'll get the grooming you need there, said Mu Kingsuan. Hearing that Mu Kingsuan was so clear on Guo Ran's qualifications, everyone was moved. It seemed she had been telling the truth. To be fair, each person's qualifications went through strict, impartial tests. That was why they had no sympathy for the fellow who had cried out previously. If the roles were reversed and they were in Mu Kingsuan's position, they also wouldn't be kind to a person like that. Guo Ran was disappointed. He was the proudest of his forging arts, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect refused to acknowledge them, treating it as a common skill. Yu Zifen returned to their group with a special jade plate on his waist. It had a carving of a sword on it, and it was unknown how it was supposed to be used. Don't get jealous. It's not like you can beat him and take it, laughed Gu Yang upon seeing Guo Ran's expression. Long Chen also laughed. Sword cultivators are exceptionally rare, so this kind of treatment is normal. Don't worry, the Zhuanshan Dao sect is different from the branch sect and has plenty of resources for your forging arts. With your talent and perseverance, you'll definitely light up the forging world. Boss, you really are the best. It's been so long since you've praised me like this. Guo Ran emotionally stared at Long Chen. Don't look at me with such a gaze. I have an urge to slap you to death. Raged Long Chen. Gu Yang and the others laughed. Guo Ran was the Dragonblood Legion's clown. And when they had nothing to do, he would always cause some laughter. But the person being used by him to make the others laugh wouldn't find it funny. All the disciples not from the four regions became much more reserved. No longer acting as arrogantly as before. They treated these senior disciples respectfully. Tang Wan'er, Rank 4 Celestial, Dark Gold Spirit Root, Mid-Earth Tier Spirit Blood, High Earth Tier Wind Energy. What a pity. Mu Kingsuan muttered to herself. Senior Sister Kingsuan, what is a pity? Asked Tang Wan'er. Your wind energy is incomparably pure. If only. Ah, there's no need to say so much. Little sister, for you to have such accomplishments in a place as destitute as the Eastern Wasteland is amazing. You must have worked hard. Your big sister is cheering for you. You'll definitely be one of our new generation's top geniuses. Encouraged Mu Kingsuan. Thank you, senior sister, said Tang Wan'er cutely. When Tang Wan'er returned to their side, Long Chen couldn't help but look at her oddly. She irritably demanded, What are you looking at me like that for? I'm just curious. Wan'er, why are you so kind to outsiders, but so fierce toward me? Asked Long Chen. Because you're a typical brat who will start causing trouble if I don't continue beating you. If I treat you too gently, 
you'll start overturning the heavens, said Tang Wan'er strictly. Comma the registration continued. There was a huge number of people to go through, but this allowed Long Chen and the others to get a preview of their power. It was no wonder others looked down on them. Other than the Dragon Blood Legion, the Eastern Wasteland's disciples were all rank 2 Celestials, or even just rank 1. But in the other three regions, around 80% of them were rank 3 Celestials. Another 15% were rank 2 Celestials, and the remaining ones were rank 4 and above. Not even a single rank 1 Celestial appeared from them. That caused a wave of shame to wash over the Eastern Wasteland's rank 1 Celestials. But they were powerless to do anything. Even the Dragon Blood Legion, which had been at the peak of power in the Eastern Wasteland, was submerged by the countless rank 3 Celestials. Even rank 4 Celestials like Gu Yang and Li Qi didn't draw much attention. That made Long Chen sigh. The days of being the overlord of the Eastern Wasteland were over. But this also made things more interesting. Eventually, it was Men Qi's turn. When she appeared, everyone turned silent. They were all infected by her transcendental immortal charm. Wherever she went, it was like the world became a wonderland. This was Men Qi's special aura. It was like everything around her became transcendental just by being around her. Men Qi, Dark Gold Spirit Root, Mid Earth Tier Spirit Blood, Low Heaven Tier Soul Energy. What terrifying soul energy. Seeing that, Mu Kingsuin was shocked. Just like Yu Zifeng, she gave her a special jade plate. But this one had the soul character carved into it. Congratulations Junior Sister. Your soul energy has reached a level that sparks disbelief. It's also incomparably condensed. That means your control over your soul energy has also reached a pinnacle. You can become a special elite disciple as well. Thank you. Senior Apprentice Sister Kingsuin. Men Qi received that jade plate and respectfully bowed to Mu Kingsuin before returning to Long Chen's side. This caused quite a disturbance amongst the others. A third of the people had been registered, but only two special elite disciple positions had been given. And those two spots were all from the eastern wasteland. Next, the western deserts Yan Machen. Novaloon.com hearing this, Yan Machen snorted coldly and walked up. When he passed by the eastern wasteland's people, he extended his thumb and dipped it down. Infuriating Guo Ran and the others. Chapter 991 Crush You Like a Dog Translator. Born to be Brother Long. Let me smash him. Yan Machen had continuously provoked them, making even the well-behaved wild irritated. Don't be so violent. Fighting and killing all day isn't good. I've promised Men Qi to restrain my temper and be a good disciple. Long Chen shook his head. Brother Long. Wild scratched his head. Not understanding. Sometimes, you don't need to kill people to vent your anger. In the future, my motto in the Zhuanshan Dao sect will be, if I can play you to death, I definitely won't beat you to death. Fighting is so barbaric. It has no technique, nor is it fun to watch. It's boring. Now that we're in the central plains, we're people with status. We can't be like villagers fighting all day. We should play more high-class games, laughed Long Chen. Tang Wan'er noticed Long Chen's wicked smile and that familiar naughty light in his eyes. He looked just like his previous self from when he had just joined the 108th monastery. Boss, how should we play? Asked Guo Ran. There's no set routine to this game. Just act according to the situation. Use all the resources and rules you can use to beat the crap out of everyone who dares to bother you. And best of all, there's no punishment since it's within the rules. To sum it up, just wait. Once the registration is over, they'll definitely go over the rules. So everyone listen closely. Rules are very interesting things. As long as there are rules, there are loopholes. And I'm handing the task of finding those loopholes to you. Guo Ran, your head is good. So don't disappoint me. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder. His words sincere and heartfelt. I definitely won't fail you, boss, said Guo Ran confidently. This was one of his favorite things to do. Men Qi was speechless. But if this could hold him back from killing people, she felt like it was more than worth it. Long Chen was never someone whose mind was easy to change. Therefore, seeing him concede on this point comforted her a great deal. Yan Machen smiled at the Dragonblood Warrior's infuriated expressions. Dragging his straw sandals against the ground, he went up to register. Just a ground beetle. Guo Ran shook his head. With his sleeveless waistcoat, wide underpants, and straw sandals, there was no other way to describe him. Yan Machen. Violet Gold Spirit Root. High Earth Tier Spirit Blood. High Earth Tier Earth Energy. Rank 5 Celestial. Yan Machen's stats didn't cause too much of a disturbance, as his obstinate act from before had proven his power. He was clearly the Western Desert's top expert. 
but Yan Machen was a bit disappointed to only obtain an ordinary jade plate. Now there were two rank 5 celestials, Xiao Ziyan from the Southern Sea and the ground beetle Yan Machen, Wei Chang He, Violet Gold Spirit Root, High Earth Tier Spirit Blood, Mid Earth Tier Water Energy, Rank 5 Celestial. Finally, a third Rank 5 Celestial appeared. He was very handsome, but he also gave off a kind of feminine feeling. This Rank 5 Celestial also came from the Southern Sea. For one region to produce two Rank 5 Celestials was shocking. Wei Chang He also didn't get a special elite disciple Jade Plate. That made the man who had complained about not receiving one have an urge to slap himself. But it was too late for anything. Wei Chang He returned to the Southern Sea's group. He said something to Xiao Ziyan, but she merely gave him a curt, polite reply before ignoring him. Wei Chang He smiled slightly, not caring about this soft rejection. Hypocrite. Just looking at his smile, it's easy to tell he's thinking about some evil scheme. Someone like him wants to pursue a woman? That beautiful sister was right to ignore him, or it would truly be like a flower being stuck into a pile of manure, said Tang Wan'er coldly as she stared at his fake smile. Wan'er, don't get involved in other people's matters, said Men Ki speechlessly. I just dislike him. I'm sure that man isn't a good person, said Tang Wan'er. How can you tell? Sighed Men Ki. Compare him to Long Chen and you'll understand, said Tang Wan'er, looking at Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help but feel gratified as Tang Wan'er rarely praised him. He unconsciously stood a bit straighter. That person's gaze is hiding his perverted desires inside so that others get fooled by his outside appearance. But he can't fool anyone. Then look at Long Chen. He never bothers hiding his despicable thoughts. Continued Tang Wan'er. Long Chen's face immediately turned dark. He had actually vainly thought Tang Wan'er's character had changed. Now he felt himself to be too naive. But for Tang Wan'er to see through Wei Chang He's hypocritical nature with just a glance was quite rare. Long Chen could only tell other people's feelings because he had the nine star hegemon body art. The eastern wastelands wild. The other branch sects had many people with similar or even identical names. So they had to listen closely. But the eastern wasteland had it easy, as the chances of similar names were quite low. Wild. Wake up. It's your turn. Gu Yang pushed Wild a few times, trying to wake him. Wild drowsily walked over to register. When he opened his mouth for the examination, that disciple's expression changed. You, senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, please come and have a look. That disciple was completely bewildered upon examining Wild's mouth. Mu Kingsuan came over to confirm what he saw. His teeth had faint lines of blood, like divine runes, and are capable of being as hard as metal or as soft as cotton. This is the mark of the legendary barbarian race. But... Didn't the barbarian race go extinct a long time ago? Mu Kingsuan was also bewildered. Hearing this, Long Chen was shocked. The central plains were truly impressive. Even these disciples knew so much about the barbarian race. Wild's teeth truly were terrifying. Any magical beast's hide was easily torn through, and even their bones would be crushed. Ever since Elder Shah had given him that spatial oven, he would eat five or six sea demons at a time. Because of the spatial power, the sea demons were compressed into snacks, but just because their size was smaller didn't mean the strength of their flesh diminished. Such powerful sea demons were easily swallowed by wild, and he didn't even spit out their teeth. Back then, people had laughed, saying his teeth were comparable to king items. Leave this spot empty for now, go to the next. Mu Kingsuan shook her head, not daring to say anything for sure. That disciple wrote unable to confirm on the spot for race. Then below that, in smaller words, he wrote, suspected to be one of the legendary barbarian race. His spirit root is, variant. When testing his spirit root, that disciple let out a startled cry. Everyone was startled. They didn't even understand what a variant spirit root was supposed to mean. The testing stone should have had one of its five colors light up, but now its five colors were all lighting up at random frequencies. Mu Kingsuin and the four elders examined the testing stone at the same time. They were all delighted. And after a moment's thought, one of them exclaimed, an innate variant spirit root actually appeared in this generation. This, this is amazing. Quick, alert the higher ups. No, there's no need. I'll bring him over myself. The four elders directly pulled a dumbfounded wild away, disappearing from everyone's sight. Mu Kingsuin also took a long time to recover from her shock. To Long Chen and the others, she said, congratulations. This brother of yours will probably be soaring like a shooting star. His future accomplishments will be something even we have to look up to. 
Long Chen was reminded of another matter involving a variant spirit root. That scene had two rough hands tenderly holding a baby. Ha ha ha. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. My son Long Chen possesses a variant spirit root, a divine spirit bone, and supreme spirit blood. He'll definitely become a peak figure above the nine heavens, one who will arrogantly look down on all else. Long Chen was sure that the baby was him and the laughing man was his biological father. Then there had been a soft, pampering voice of which should be his mother's. Now that he heard the words variant spirit root again, he immediately thought of many possibilities. He hastily asked Mu Kingsuan, senior apprentice sister Kingsuan, can I ask what a variant spirit root is? Does it have some kind of special origin? Variant spirit roots? I don't know much about them, but most spirit roots can be classified as bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, and violet gold. Above these five grades are variant spirit roots. These variant spirit roots are supposedly split into many different kinds, but those who possess such spirit roots are very, very rare. Side Mu Kingsuan. How rare is very rare? Asked someone. That was a genius from the western desert, and he was clearly jealous. Let me put it this way. They are rare to the point that one might not even appear within decades or even a century on the Martial Heaven continent, said Mu Kingsuan. That deeply shook everyone. The Martial Heaven continent had innumerable cultivators, but someone with a variant spirit root might not appear even once a century? That was too exaggerated. Of course, this only refers to innate variant spirit roots. There are also some who, after having their spirit root reach the violet gold grade, can once more evolve it into a variant spirit root. But there's no way for such a spirit root to compare to an innate one. That's why the four elders rushed off so hastily. Such a huge matter will shake the entire Zuanshan Dao sect he. I'm sure they'll be bestowing him quite a few rewards. Wild's appearance had caused Mu Kingsuan to have quite a bit of delight. And she returned to her friendly attitude. Haha, <laughs> that's great. With Wild looking after us, we can be as domineering as we want. Laughed Guo Ran. Junior brother, your happiness is premature. The Zuanshan Dao sect's rankings are very clear. If you aren't talented enough, you might never see him again in your lifetime, said Mu Kingsuan. What? Guo Ran was stunned. He, you'll quickly realize the Zuanshan Dao sect isn't something you're capable of imagining. After saying that, Mu Kingsuan moved on, continuing with the registration. The northern sources Han Yunshan, Novaloon.com A white-robed man walked out. When he passed the eastern wasteland's disciples, he suddenly stopped and icily glared at Long Chen. You should be Long Chen, correct? I will crush you like a dog. Chapter 992 Divine Ice Palace Translator Born to be did you eat too much dog food for such dog shit to come out of your mouth? When did I ever provoke you? Long Chen icily stared back at him, furious. Had all these idiots forgotten to take their medicine? Why did they always have to target him? He didn't even know who this Han Yunchen was, but he immediately provoked him. Did he look so unlikable? Unbearably rude trash. Just wait. When the trial is over, I'll make you kneel and beg for forgiveness, said Han Yunchen before ignoring him and going to report his name. Do these people have some mental illness? I really want to kill these idiots. How did they become so stupid? Cursed Guo Ran. The initial discrimination was understandable, as the eastern wasteland side was truly much weaker and couldn't compare to the others. But this idiot from the northern source immediately targeted Long Chen. Enraging all of them, as long as Long Chen gave the word, they would cut this fellow to pieces. His tone seemed to be resentful. He should have had some kind of past dealings with Long Chen, or he wouldn't have targeted him like this, said Men Qi. Looked at Han Yunchen's back. I've never seen him before. How could we have had any past dealings? Long Chen shook his head. Isn't the northern source where sisters Hikyu is? Could it be? Tang Wan'er suddenly came to a comprehension. No way. Long Chen also became suspicious. Could it really have something to do with Ye's Hikyu? Han Yunshan. Violet Gold Spirit Root. High Earth Tier Spirit Blood. High Earth Tier Ice Energy. Rank 5 Celestial. Another Rank 5 Celestial. And he was actually so powerful. Quite a few people pitifully looked at Long Chen. The trial hadn't even begun. And two top geniuses had set their sights on him. Previously, he and Yan Machen had almost started fighting. Now Han Yunshan was even more hostile toward him directly saying he would personally crush Long Chen. He was truly unlucky. However, only a small portion of people actually felt pity for him, and most of those were women. The majority of the others looked at him with delight for his misfortune. They showed contempt for the eastern wasteland, 
and after seeing special elite disciples arise amongst them, they looked forward to seeing the rest be suppressed. However, the curious thing was that Han Yanchen possessed such high-quality ice energy, but didn't receive a special elite disciple jade plate. Why is this? Han Yanchen was a bit dissatisfied. The ice attribute was rare, so he was unconvinced. The ice attribute might be rare in other places, but the northern source is the land of ice cultivators, and so it's not rare there. Similarly, there are plenty of people here with similar constitutions, so you can't count as special, said Mu Kingsuan indifferently. Her words were polite, but her meaning was clear. Don't think of yourself as so special. In the central plains, you are nothing. Han Yanchen didn't dare to argue with her. He returned to his side, but as he passed by the eastern wastelands people, he received some fiery cheering. Ha 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 ha. The dragon blood warriors didn't say a thing. They were just looking and laughing at Han Yanchen. Han Yanchen was already irritated, and adding on that mocking laughter, his powerful ice energy immediately filled the air. Don't force me to take action, warned Mu Kingsuan. Ha 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 ha. The dragon blood warriors continued to laugh. They didn't use words. Just by laughing, they were successful in infuriating Han Yanchen completely, while he didn't dare to attack. Idiot. Now he's finally paying a price for his arrogance. It's so refreshing, said Guo Ran, enjoying the sight of Han Yanchen grinding his teeth. It's senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Right. The registration continued, and an hour later, a maiden from the northern source who had just registered came over to Long Chen's side. Is something the matter? Asked Long Chen. I have a relationship with senior apprentice sisters Hikyu and was once saved by her in the immemorial path. I don't want to be ungrateful. So I came to tell you a few things about her, said the maiden. Everyone was delighted to hear this. They precisely wanted to learn how Ye's Hikyu was recently, because Long Chen had sensed her in the immemorial path, but hadn't actually seen her. Is she still all right? Asked Tang wan -er. She is very well. She has a very rare innate ice body, and her spirit root is also variant. Her talent is unprecedented, and she is claimed to be the top genius of the northern source in the past 10,000 years. In the northern source's chilling ice palace, she had countless pursuers and worshippers, but she once said that the person she loved was in the eastern wasteland. As long as that person doesn't die, her love will not perish either. At first, people thought she was just making an excuse to refuse the suitors, but later, she said your name, and even made your image public to make some people give up. However, some continued to pester her, and one of them was senior apprentice brother Han Yanshan. He was originally sisters Hikyu's senior apprentice brother, but he once insulted you with his words, and as a result, senior apprentice sisters Hikyu almost took his life. The palace master had to stop her, and despite that, it wasn't possible to mediate things. Senior apprentice sisters Hikyu said that if he stayed, she would go. As a result, senior apprentice brother Han Yanshan was expelled from the chilling ice palace. That's also why he had to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect with us, instead of going to the Central Plains Divine Ice Palace. Wow, Sisters Hikyu is so powerful. I really want to see her again. Sometimes, I'll dream about how she and this scoundrel snatched the profound spirit fruit in the 108th Monastery, said Tang wan -er. Long Chen was also moved. He asked, how far is the Divine Ice Palace from here? If we have the chance, we'll definitely go and see her. Long Chen fell into his memories of her. That final smile that bloomed on her face before falling was still etched in his heart. Although he knew Ye's Hikia was still alive, without seeing her, his heart was unable to be at ease. Keep dreaming. An ant like you doesn't have the qualifications to go to the Divine Ice Palace, called out the distant Han Yanshan. He had clearly been paying attention this entire time. Still, using soul energy to eavesdrop was a taboo. Han Yanshan, raged Guo Ran. What are you going to do? Bite me sneered Han Yanshan. Fuck your mother, cursed Guo Ran. Everyone turned silent. Even the senior disciples in charge of the registration frowned. The trash from the eastern wasteland becomes coarser with each passing year, sneered a disciple from the northern source. Guo Ran, ignore them. Once we enter the trial, we'll teach them why flowers are red. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. Fine, if boss is handling it, then I'm fine with it. Guo Ran nodded. Guo Ran understood Long Chen's methods the most. If Long Chen promised to teach them a lesson, he was at ease. Sister, do you know where the Divine Ice Palace is? Asked Men Qi. The maiden shook her head. I don't know, because in the northern source, the branch Zhuanshan Dao sect is only one of the several great powers. Other than the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Chilling Ice Palace, 
there are several others from the Central Plains that established branch sects in the Northern Source, and they rarely mention anything about the Central Plains. Hearing that, Long Chen and the other side, now they realized why the Eastern Wastelands branch sect had dominated their region. It was because other powers didn't care about a place as destitute as the Eastern Wasteland. They were also shocked by how great the difference was between them and the other four outer regions. The disciples coming from there had gone to several different sects, but there were still hundreds of thousands of disciples who came to the Zhuanshan Dao sect that kind of power was truly shocking. Compared to the other three regions, the eastern wasteland was truly like a rural village. If senior apprentice brother Long Chen doesn't have anything left to say, I'll take my leave. The maiden bowed slightly. Ah, may I ask your name? Asked Long Chen. I am Bei Ling. Bei Ling? That was a common name and was the same as the Beiling he had encountered in the Huaian sect he had heard she had continued to rise with Zhen Wenlong, and she was now his wife. She was no longer constantly rushing around taking risks. All right, if you have any problems in the future, you can come and find me. If anyone dares to intentionally make things hard on you, I'll beat their heads until their heads start farting, promised Long Chen. He intentionally said this for Han Yanshan. His meaning was that he could come at him, but he shouldn't be petty and bully her. In any case, Han Yunchen was someone with his own prestige, so he wouldn't have many opportunities to target someone like Bei Ling. Bei Ling gratefully looked at Long Chen before returning to the Northern Source's side, but there were clearly quite a few people who retreated as she passed. The registration continued. Long Chen was surprised to see two more rank 5 celestials appear. However, these two were weaker than the others. Long Chen thought about it and guessed that it was the result of others pouring resources into them. They probably should have been stuck as rank 4 celestials, but had been forcibly raised to rank 5 celestials. They clearly weren't as strong as Xiao Ziyan, Yan Machen, Wei Changhe, and Han Yanshan, but they were definitely much stronger than a rank 4 celestial. There aren't many people left. Boss, could they had forgotten you? Wonder Guo ran as he saw only a few dozen people left. The Eastern Wastelands Long Chen. Boss, let them see what a true heavenly genius is. Show them how foolish it is to be arrogant in front of you, cheered Guo Ran. The other Dragonblood warriors also cheered in anticipation. Long Chen grumbled inside. He knew he was probably about to embarrass himself. After registering his identity and race, he arrived in front of a huge stone. The stone released a gentle light that enveloped him, and a fluctuation spread toward his danshan. Chapter 993 Astonishment and Shock Translator Born to be what? What is going on? The senior disciple in charge of this examination stared blankly at the stone. After waiting for a long time, none of the expected five colors lit up. Is the equipment broken? No, that's impossible. That disciple once more activated it. The light once more examined Long Chen, proving there was no problem, but no color appeared. Now, not only he was dumbfounded, but everyone else also. There's no need to keep trying. I don't have a spirit root. Long Chen bitterly smiled. This tool investigated a person's root key, but without his spirit root, the only thing at the position of his danshan was the primal chaos bead, and that light didn't seem to be able to sense it. The fact that the primal chaos bead wasn't exposed made Long Chen much more at ease. That was his greatest secret, and he couldn't expose it no matter what. That's impossible. Do you think I'm an idiot? Without root key, how did you condense a danshan? Asked the stupefied senior disciple, Luo Yan. That question is not in accordance with the rules. We can't ask such things, chided Mu Kingsuan. She also didn't quite believe what she was seeing, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect's rules didn't allow them to pry into disciples' personal secrets. But, then, what am I supposed to write down? Asked the senior disciple. He couldn't possibly write no danshan. If the elders learned of that, they would probably slap him. To cultivate without a danshan. Was that a joke? Hmm. Just write down that there's no way to confirm anything, said Mu Kingsuan. She had also never heard of someone capable of cultivating without a danshan. If she didn't say anything, Luo Yan wouldn't dare to write anything. He was afraid of the responsibility. So he only began to write once Mu Kingsuan nodded. As a result, the word uncertain was written where the quality of Long Chen's spirit root was supposed to go. TCH. He doesn't even have a spirit root. He's probably another bumpkin who bribed his way in. He's not even worth dog shit, sneered some people. Without a danshan, Long Chen had probably cultivated some kind of unorthodox power, but that was a heretical path, and in the end, he wouldn't have any accomplishments. Drip a bit of blood on the plate, 
The next test was for the density of his spirit blood. This was an important statistic as it would say how much potential he had. Long Chen helplessly dripped a drop of blood onto the plate, which was very large and had countless ancient marks on it. When Long Chen's blood landed on it, the plate shook intensely, and a faint dragon roar came from it. Boom. The ancient plate exploded, shocking everyone. Your, your essence blood isn't human, raged the disciple. Ah, what happened? Asked Long Chen. Fuck, I'm going to go crazy. If you didn't have human essence blood, why didn't you say so earlier? Raged that disciple. You didn't say anything. Long Chen raged back. That disciple immediately had an urge to cry. Looking at the shattered testing plate, tears almost leaked out of his eyes. It's okay. It's not your fault. I also have responsibility for this. So I'll help you pay for this testing plate. Don't feel bad. Sighed Mu Kingsuan. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuan. Did junior disciple do something wrong? Asked Long Chen. Mu Kingsuan shook her head. You didn't do anything wrong. We were just careless. Or perhaps it would be better to say we were unlucky. Normally, we should have first asked about your essence blood. And that would avoid this kind of awkward situation. This testing plate is only for testing human spirit blood, and it rejects other races' blood. There is a chance of it exploding, but normally, the testing plate will show signs of rejection first, and we would stop the test so it doesn't explode. But this time, it just instantly exploded. Furthermore, according to the sect's rules, if something happens to the equipment as a result of our negligence, the examiner in charge of it must pay the price. Ah, sorry, said Long Chen. It was no wonder that disciple looked like his wife had just died. He would probably be broke for a long while. Long Chen had clearly seen ancient race disciples use this testing plate without causing problems. So he had felt he would be fine too. But in reality, the ancient race experts also contained the human race's blood. Their blood was special. But the testing plate didn't reject them. The replacement has arrived. Be careful. Suddenly, an elder appeared in the air and took out a new testing plate. Many thanks, Elder. We'll definitely be careful and not allow such a thing to happen twice. Mu Kingsuan quickly bowed. Just now, she had alerted the higher-ups to send a new testing plate. You should be Long Chen, correct? Come over and drip a drop of blood on this testing plate. This one is special and is something I brought out for you, said the Elder Novaloon.com CM Long Chen went forward and dripped his blood on it. The testing plate blossomed with blinding light. What dense essence blood energy. But why is the tear so low? The elder was astonished. What tear is it? Asked Long Chen. Lo Wang tear what? Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. His essence blood was a true dragon's essence blood. How could its tear be so low? Yes, it truly is odd. Such powerful essence blood energy is actually only Lo Wang tear. Although there's always some error in any equipment, the error couldn't possibly be this large. Your spirit blood is truly Lo Wang tear, said the elder. Ha ha ha, as expected. Trash. Who knows what dumpster he pulled a drop of essence blood out of. He probably didn't even find out if it was expired or not before refining it. Fool. Sneered someone. Most cultivators essence blood was inherited from their ancestors. There were also some who changed their essence blood intentionally. But very few people would refine magical beast, demonic beast, or zoon beast essence blood. A human's essence blood could be changed. But once someone refined another race's essence blood. There was no way to change it again. It would become their new, permanent spirit blood. So unless it was absolutely peak grade, no one would refine a beast's essence blood. Furthermore, doing so was extremely dangerous. For Long Chen to have such low tier essence blood, the majority thought he was doomed for the rest of his life. Expired. Long Chen suddenly realized what the problem was. The testing plate tested the density of a person's spirit blood, not the energy. They were of different concepts. The dragon blood flowing through his veins had come from a dragon scale that had existed for countless years. It had lost a great deal of energy, until the only thing remaining was a trace. Just a trace. That trace had been enough to cause him to almost explode. However, it wasn't a great amount, so the testing tool rated it as the lowest level. Compared to the amount of essence blood a true dragon possessed, this little trace was truly not very dense. Looking at the idiot sneering at him. Long Chen thought to himself that they would be much better behaved once he slapped them a few times. This test actually made Long Chen even more confident. With such a thin density of dragon blood, he already possessed such power. Once he obtained the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale, Long Chen was excited about it, but also worried. The Azure Dragon Scale would contain even purer essence blood, 
and without enough power, he wouldn't be able to refine it. If he rashly tried, he would instantly explode. Long Chen, don't worry. A couple of statistics aren't enough to determine a person's potential. Continue to the next test, said Mu Kingsuan, thinking that his confidence had been given a blow because of his lost expression. Long Chen smiled slightly and nodded. This senior apprentice sister was quite kind, a stark difference compared to the idiots outside. He continued onwards. The next test was a gate. He had seen others go through it, but there was no one in charge of this equipment, and he didn't know what it was used for. He had only just gone through when an unprecedented disturbance came from the gate. Its countless runes lit up, and Mu Kingsuan's expression became ecstatic. But that ecstatic expression quickly became that of astonishment, because after the gate's runes lit up, they turned dark again. Only four runes appeared. Seeing those four runes, most people were lost. Those characters weren't immortal characters, nor were they the current era's characters. What's going on? Of everyone present, only Mu Kingsuan had the authority to know what those runes meant. Spirit Bone has been removed. Most people didn't have a spirit bone. Those who had spirit bones were even rarer than those geniuses with variant spirit roots, as it was related to the secret of becoming a god or immortal. However, the gate's runes said that Long Chen had once possessed a spirit bone, but now it was gone. Mu Kingsuan was bewildered, thinking of the oddities with his spirit root and spirit blood. She thought of many things she hadn't dared to think before. However, she didn't say anything. Long Chen was unaware that the secret of his excavated spirit bone was already exposed. He moved on to the next test. Flame energy. Low heaven tier when Long Chen walked onto a stage. The flame dragon on his arm involuntarily released a fluctuation. Long Chen was shocked by this testing instrument. He was unable to conceal anything even if he wanted to. Thunder force. High heaven tier spiritual strength. Low heaven tier looking at those three statistics. Everyone was silent. Even Mu Kingsuan was unable to say anything for a long time. Three of his attributes have reached the heaven tier? Impossible. Everyone was dumbfounded. When Long Chen and the remaining others finished the complete registration, Mu Kingsuan left with all the registrations. Chapter 994 The Patriarch Speaks Translator Born to be no spirit root, spirit blood from an unknown origin, and a spirit bone that has been excavated. However, he possesses such powerful spiritual strength and is able to control an earth flame and tribulation lightning. Furthermore, his thunder force has reached the high heaven tier. It's completely incomprehensible. Within one of the palaces of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, a lean elder carefully looked through the jade plate Mu Kingsuan had offered him. There were over ten elders present as well, all of them solemn. They were frowning, incapable of explaining this. Without a spirit root or a danshan, it is still possible to nourish spiritual key within the body's 360 acupuncture points. Once activated, it is possible for the acupuncture points to take the place of the danshan to store spiritual yuan. However, this process requires an extremely powerful expert to spend countless time and attention on you to reforge your entire body. It seems that there's no such existence within the eastern wasteland. Furthermore, even in this case, a person wouldn't possess much cultivation talent or ability, said one of them. The first lean elder asked, Li Changfeng, you're the only one to come into contact with this Long Chen. Do you have any opinion? Li Changfeng was the one who had gone to the eastern wasteland to handle Long Chen's matter. In the end, he had been forced to capture Lu Minghan and bring him away. Reporting to Hall Master, your subordinate was incompetent and had no chance to talk much with him. But the law enforcement hall, said Li Changfeng. This lean elder was the Elder Hall's leader and was called the Elder Hall Master. He shook his head and said, This matter isn't your fault. The past few years, the law enforcement hall's hands and legs have stretched further than ever, and they're even starting to infringe on our Elder Hall's matters. By directly capturing him and bringing him back, you've caused the law enforcement hall to lose face. But that's not a bad thing. There's no need to blame yourself over that. So speak more about Long Chen. Li Changfen was silent for a moment before cautiously saying, I investigated him. He comes from poor origins, and should have obtained some opportunity to suddenly soar like a shooting star. He is intelligent but decisively kills people and dares to cause trouble for himself. He treats death indifferently, but he treats the people by his side extremely well with absolute sincerity. He possesses a great deal of charisma. Looking at his past, he should have obtained many lucky opportunities and is hiding many secrets. That's why Lu Minghan would still recklessly attack him. As a result, while Lu Minghan's guard was down, Long Chen caused him to lose in their brief battle. Furthermore, 
in front of countless Eastern Wasteland disciples. He tried to forcibly suppress Long Chen. That caused a worrisome impact, and that's why I had no choice but to capture him. The Hall Master nodded. Geniuses all possess karmic luck and are supported by the heavenly deos. But this Long Chen isn't a celestial. That's strange. According to reason, we should give him special treatment and support him. But according to the sect's rules, it seems that he hasn't met the requirements. That puts us in a difficult spot. Although Long Chen hasn't joined the Zhuangshan Deo sect yet, if this decision of ours ends up impacting our disciples' life, we'll have committed a sin the Elder Hall was in charge of discovering and raising geniuses. They were the department with the greatest authority in the Zhuangshan Deo sect, which was why all their elders possessed both integrity and skill. They carefully and meticulously handled things. Whether it was Long Chen's spiritual strength, flame energy, or thunder force, any of them was enough to let him become a special elite disciple that would receive exceptional care. But he had no spirit blood or spirit root, which wasn't in accordance with the rules. He was like a skyscraper that had no foundation and might collapse at any time. The spirit root and spirit blood were the foundation for a cultivator. Do not intentionally make things easier on Long Chen, and do not intentionally make things hard on him. Let everything come naturally. This matter is restricted to just the people within this room and is not to be transmitted out. An aged voice suddenly rang out in everyone's ears. It was like a divine voice that penetrated to the core of their hearts. And everyone hastily jumped. Everyone, including the hall master, knelt on the ground. Understood, patriarch. After that, the voice didn't say any more. And only then did everyone slowly rise. Mu Kingsuin was completely pale as that voice had deeply shaken her. In front of that voice, she felt herself to be wholly insignificant. I didn't expect this matter to disturb the patriarch. Then let Long Chen go through the sect naturally. It seems the patriarch has long since sensed him and we don't need to worry. King Xuan, go back. Remember not to mention this to anyone, said the hall master. Yes, disciple understands. Mu King Xuan bowed and left. Once she was gone, an elder sighed. Hall master, this Long Chen has had conflicts with the law enforcement hall. Shouldn't we? The hall master shook his head. The patriarch's orders have already arrived. There's no need for us to be worried. We can just mind our own business. The next day after the registration, all the disciples were gathered up once more. But Menki and Yu Zifeng had also been taken away as they didn't need to participate in this trial. They had their own special trial. The only senior disciple present now was Mu Kingsuan. She announced, the registration is over. So whether or not you can walk through the Zhuangshan Deo sect's gate is up to you. I'm sure you're all clear on a few of the taboos within the trial. So I won't waste too many words. All I'll say is that this place is about 3 million miles from the Zhuangshan Deo sect. The trial is to traverse these 3 million miles. 3 million miles? Everyone was startled by this immense distance. Ignoring their shock, Mu Kingsuan continued. It is forbidden to fly in this region. And there is a special formation present to ensure it. Other than jumping through the air, you won't be able to do anything else. You'll need to rely on your two feet, but don't complain. The scenery is enchanting, like a painting filled with luscious hills, crystal clear water, and thriving fauna. It's almost like a dream. Yes, that's how my senior disciples explained it to me back then. Whether this description is apt is something you'll personally experience. All right, I won't say any more. The trial for becoming an outer sect disciple starts now. Junior brothers. Junior sisters, I wish you good luck. Long Chen suddenly felt his body sink as if he had fallen into an abyss. The space around him completely changed, and he found himself by a mountain stream. Mu Kingsuan had disappeared, and so had the surrounding people. Long Chen hastily looked around, only seeing a few isolated figures also apprising their surroundings. It was clear they had all been transported within a formation. Although this place wasn't the core of the Zhuangshan Deo sect. Just this outer region was treated importantly by the Deo sect. Everything that occurred within this region would be clearly seen by the sect. This was what it meant to have a foundation. This outer territory was practically boundless. There's fish swimming in the water and birds flying in the sky. Long Chen yawned and stretched his waist, feeling refreshed. He felt the same as when he had first been joining the Zhuangshan monastery. At that time, he had just been a blood condensation rookie. Now he had set foot on the playing field of heavenly geniuses the central plains, from one world, he had stepped into another, today everything started again, but it was no longer the same, he felt an indescribable excitement, he continued forward, after traveling a few dozen miles, he suddenly found that something was wrong, 
forming hand seals. His spiritual strength erupted. Break. Following his low shout, the scenery changed. He was no longer walked over verdant grass, but a small brook. The water was running past his feet. TCH. What a con. Break again. Long Chen's spiritual strength erupted again. He appeared in a desert with a fiery sun. How incessant. Break. 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 Long Chen's spiritual strength erupted over and over. He had realized he was in an illusion formation, and this formation was extremely immoral. It actually had several layers, making it so people couldn't tell illusion from reality. Just as Mu Kingsuan had said, it was like a dream. If someone were to be lost in the illusion formation, they would just constantly roam around, never able to reach the Zhuanshan Dao sect. This formation's greatest aspect was its ability to overlap reality and illusion. After walking a bit, the illusion might fade. And then after walking some more, it might reappear without you noticing. That fellow Gu Yang is probably doomed. Hopefully, his head is bright enough to light up the world so others can find him. Otherwise, he'll just be monkeying around. Long Chen said a prayer for him. That spiritual idiot would definitely end up stuck here if he only relied on his own strength. After traveling a bit more, Long Chen suddenly saw a man with a dagger inserted into his shoulder. He realized he was using pain to keep himself extricated from the illusions. Once lost inside this illusion formation, a person's senses would become slower, and pain would fade away. This fellow was quite smart. Once the pain faded, he would realize he was in an illusion. Long Chen didn't need to do so. Since he knew this was an illusion formation, he wouldn't fall for it a second time. Long Chen saw quite a few people roaming with their eyes closed, and he knew they had to be lost in formations. Damn. This is definitely a legendary pervert. Long Chen suddenly saw a man standing motionless, a lecherous light in his eyes. His hands were outstretched, and at this moment, a woman with her eyes closed walked over, sending her soft parts right into his hands. She let out a startled cry and instantly awoke from the illusion. That man also let out a startled cry, but somehow, that cry sounded incredibly perverted, acting like he had awoken from an illusion. The man hastily apologized profusely to the woman. If it hadn't been for her startled cry, he might have been forever lost in the illusions. The woman believed him. Completely red. She left. After seeing her walk away, the man deeply smelled his hands and made two groping motions with them, as if reliving that beautiful feeling. This is an option? As expected, there are all kinds of geniuses, said Long Chen with praise. Should I try it? Long Chen was somewhat enticed, but then glancing at the jade plate on his waist, he awoke from that fantasy. He solemnly continued on his way. Long Chen, I've finally found you. I've said that I'll crush you like a dog. Suddenly, a shout rang out. Up in a tree, Han Yunchen coldly looked down on Long Chen. Chapter 995 Fighting Han Yunchen Translator Born to be this person was the Northern Source's top genius. Han Yunchen, jumping down from the tree, he glared sinisterly at Long Chen. I've been looking for you for three days. The heavens have eyes and finally let me find you. Long Chen. I'll make you live a life worse than death to erase the hatred in my heart. Looking at Han Yunshan, whose eyes looked like they were about to spit flames, a pitiful expression appeared on Long Chen's face. Shaking his head, he said, Looking at you, I'm reminded of those idiots I killed before. How is your face thick enough to pursue Ye's Hikia with conduct such as yours? Do you not realize what kind of trash you are? What bullshit? Whether it is talent or cultivation base, aren't I a hundred times stronger than you? And when it comes to status, I'm a thousand times better. Why does she only like you and won't give me a chance? Roared Han Yunshin. Let it go. Just looking at your eyes, I can see you're just a petty child. I already got tired of this kind of jealous posing in my youth. Due to your low intelligence, I don't care to quibble with you. Fuck off instead of being a dog blocking the way, said Long Chen. At first, Long Chen really had been angry at Han Yunshin's provocations. But now he realized that although Han Yunchen's talent was high, he was just a pampered greenhouse flower. He was accustomed to thinking of himself as amazing, thinking the world should be his, as if everyone only lived for him. Most likely, his entire life had been smooth sailing, but he had met his greatest setback when pursuing Ye's Hikyu. Instead of receiving her favor, he was kicked out of his sect that was a heavy impact on him. The truth was that a great part of the reason he had joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect was because of Long Chen. He wanted to trample Long Chen to prove to himself that he was thousands of times better than him, and it was just Ye's Hikyu who was blind. Fool, did you think I'd let you off so easily? 
the humiliation Ye's Hikyu gave me will all be returned to you today. Furthermore, if we both end up in the Zuanshan Dao sect, don't think about having any accomplishments. I will forever suppress you, sneered Han Yunshan, ignoring Long Chen's warning. He was clearly furious. His roar was so loud that anyone within a thousand miles could hear him. There were even some disciples stuck in illusions who were awoken. Then what do you want to do? If you want to be my enemy, you'd better think it through, advised Long Chen. He never liked spoiled brats. He disliked such people, but he felt that dealing with them seriously was like bullying idiots. Winning such an unfair battle didn't have any glory to it. You think you're fit to be my enemy? I said that I'd crush you like a dog. Unless you die, you'll be crushed the entire time, sneered Han Yunshin. Fine, looks like you're sure, so I won't say any more. Come, let me see just how much skill you have. I'm looking forward to someone in the same realm crushing me, said Long Chen. Within the same realm, a person who could crush him hadn't been born. Fool, you have no spirit root, and your spirit blood is garbage. Do you think your dog shit luck that let you miraculously control flame energy and thunder force would make you unrevealed? He, my ice energy specializes in restricting your flame and lightning energy. Ha ha ha, even the heavens look down on you and want me to put you away. Trash, you pow. Long Chen finally couldn't bear it any longer and delivered a slap to Han Yunchen's face. The two of them were so close that Han Yunchen hadn't even realized what was happening before being sent flying. You really have a lot of bullshit bottled up. Are we fighting or not? Demanded Long Chen impatiently. You, you dare to hit me. I raged Han Yunchen. Pow, are you stupid? How is my luck so bad that I run into an idiot like you? Now Long Chen really was infuriated. How had the heavens created someone so stupid? This guy wanted to crush him, but apparently he wasn't supposed to hit him. Furthermore, looking at his furious expression, it was like Long Chen had committed some kind of hateful crime like executing all his relatives. Long Chen slapped him a couple more times, making the numbers of slaps for Han Yunchen's nose was bleeding, and his mouth was split open. The thing that made Long Chen speechless was that his reaction speed was far too slow. When he was slapped, he didn't even circulate a spiritual yuan to defend. If Long Chen wanted to kill him, he would only need to increase his power by the slightest bit. His combat experience was essentially zero. Bastard. Die. True ice key. Ice seals heaven and earth. Han Yunchen didn't react at first after being slapped. Only after a long moment did he recover from his shock and roar furiously. Five colored runes filled the world. The air trembled. And most terrifying of all, those runes were like ice flowers. When they appeared, the entire world seemed to become encased in ice. The flowers and trees were frozen, being turned into ice sculptures. Long Chen could sense that he was also being encased in ice. The ice forming over him had countless runes circulating within it. He tried a few times but was unable to escape. While their fight broke out, within Elder Hall, there were thousands of experts gathered. Each one of them was holding a formation disc and paying close attention to it. The formation discs had countless spots of light. Those were the disciples in the trial. These experts were in charge of looking after them. There were far too many disciples in the trial. Thousands of elders were busy keeping watch, making sure no disciples broke the rules. People are fighting again, said an elder. Numbers, asked the hall master. 9,527 and 12,580. Those seem to be two rather powerful disciples. I have some memory of them. The hall master frowned slightly. 9,527 is Han Yunshin and 12,580 is Long Chen, replied Mu Kingsuan. She was also in Elder Hall, keeping watch over everything. Oh, then we should watch closely. Switch over to their fight, said the Hall Master excitedly. A screen at the front of the palace changed, revealing two figures facing each other. Han Yunchen's expression was twisted as he cursed at Long Chen. Seeing that, the elders shook their heads. One side, this person's temperament is impatient, and he lacks control. He has little experience. Such good talent is wasted. Looking at Han Yunchen's immature conduct caused them to be disappointed. The higher your cultivation base, the greater the requirements for a person's mental realm and comprehension. This manner of Han Yunchen was unexpected. I hear this person comes from an ancient family of extremely high status in the northern source. He seems to be the current Han family master's grandson. The Han family really was stupid to dote on him like this. They turned a genius into this. Side someone, who do you think will win, Long Chen or Han Yunshan? asked an elder. Although they were all elders, they had a childish aspect too. They liked to make guesses like this. 
Are you guys taking bets again? Elder son, to dare take bets in front of the hall master, you're becoming more and more daring, laughed another elder. It's fine as long as you let me participate as well. Even the hall master joined in. Really? Great. I'll handle the bets, exclaimed that elder son all right. Then I bet 10,000 points on Long Chen. Mu Kingsuin was the first to bet. I'll bet 1 million, said the hall master. Elder son immediately became dejected. Looks like my gambling hall has to declare bankruptcy. Everyone laughed. The atmosphere in elder hall was very relaxed and harmonious. The hall master was also amiable. Ah, they're fighting, cried someone. But people's expressions quickly became odd. Elder son celebrated. Good thing I declared bankruptcy so quickly, or I wouldn't turn a profit even if given a thousand years. That Han Yunchen really is useless. After being slapped so many times, he doesn't even know how to fight back. Watching him being beaten like a child by Long Chen, the elders were speechless. Have you noticed? Although it's just a face slap, Long Chen's speed, angle, strength, and control are all perfect, and there's absolutely no sign before he attacks. His movement is so natural and impeccable that it's clear that it's a move he's tempered hundreds and thousands of times, praised an elder. Li Changfeng said, Long Chen is a true expert. Everything he has, he had to risk his life for. Outsiders can't imagine the price he had to pay. His battle experience is on a completely different level than Han Yunshin's. Everyone nodded. If it was a true life and death battle, Long Chen could take Han Yunshin's life with a single blow. No matter how good his talent was, now that he had been raised into his current state, he was useless. Han Yunshin truly was peak grade. If he didn't have strong close range combat abilities, why did he get so close to his opponent? And he even repeatedly said he would crush his opponent like a dog? Just how much medicine would he need to take to cure this illness? Han Yunshin has finally released his power. Now there should be a good show to watch. Han Yunshin had managed to encase Long Chen in ice. It seemed there really would be a good show. Seeing that Long Chen was trapped and unable to escape his ice lock, Han Yunshin smiled arrogantly. But as soon as he smiled, the cut to his mouth reopened and he felt a burst of pain. You trash Long Chen. I'll suddenly. A 3000 meter divine ring appeared, and the ice covering Long Chen's body blew apart. Pow. After breaking the ice, Long Chen once more slapped Han Yunchen in the face. At the same time, a foot kicked Han Yunchen in the crotch, causing him to let out a miserable scream. Fuck. I really can't handle your posing. Long Chen smashed a fist against Han Yunchen's nose, and Han Yunchen fainted. Chapter 996 Playing a Stimulating Game Translator Born to be you clearly have no power, but you still try to be a poser. Are you trying to irritate me? Long Chen grabbed Han Yunchen's hair, dragging him like a dead dog. Long Chen cursed as he walked. Originally, he had thought to experience a rank 5 celestial's power, which was the only reason he had allowed himself to be encased in the ice. Then he had wanted to see an ice expert's attacks. But this idiot really thought he could defeat Chiring him with just this one move and began being a poser again. Long Chen was unable to endure any longer. If he endured any more, he would go crazy. Long Chen had vast experience, and he had seen all kinds of people. But Han Yunchen's existence caused him to sigh in amazement at how vast the world was. There really were all kinds of marvels. He had lost interest in exchanging blows with this idiot, and he was worried about killing him accidentally in his fury. That wouldn't be worth it. As Long Chen dragged him along, quite a few people saw them. At first, they looked at him contemptuously, but when they saw that the person he was dragging along was Han Yunshin, their jaws almost touched the ground. They didn't dare to believe their eyes. Oh, there's actually an iron horn scaled bull. As Long Chen advanced, he saw a magical beast drinking water from a creek. It was a third rank magical beast. It wasn't matured yet, and as soon as it saw Long Chen, it turned tail and fled. But Long Chen knocked it unconscious with a single blow. He, little fellow, don't be in such a rush. Your big bro will send you a gift, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen stripped Han Yunchen of everything he had and used his hair to tie him to the iron horn scaled bull's tail. He then bound his hands so he couldn't form hand seals. Then thinking about it, he took out a long string of firecrackers he had in the primal chaos space. These were mementos from the Phoenix Cry Empire. When he had left Phoenix Cry, he had been worried about missing home, so he had bought many local products before leaving. One of those was these firecrackers. Back then, he had been extremely rich and had bought the highest quality ones. And by highest quality, he meant the kind that made the most noise. After wrapping the firecrackers around Han Yunchen's waist and legs several times, 
There were still several feet left. Brother, wake up. Let's play a stimulating game. Long Chen patted Han Yanchen's face. His spiritual strength forcibly roused him. You, Long Chen, you're asking for it. I'll kill your whole family roared Han Yanchen as soon as he realized what state he was in. Fuck, your illness still hasn't been cured. Time for your medicine. Long Chen looked around and saw a nice and warm pile of stuff. It was a fresh gift from the Iron Horn Scaled Bull. You like to spout crap, so I've prepared some delicacies for you, said Long Chen. Pulled open Han Yanchen's mouth and stuffing the delicacy in. Han Yanchen struggled all out, but his spiritual yuan was sealed by Long Chen. He was unable to use his power, and with Long Chen's efforts, his entire mouth became full of bull crap. Long Chen still wasn't satisfied, and taking out a bat, he shoved it into Han Yanchen's mouth, and then pushed, pushed, and pushed some more until Han Yanchen's belly was swelling. Only when he was finally unable to shove down any more did he stop. Going to the creek and washing his hands, he looked at the infuriated Han Yanshan. The veins on his forehead were bulging, but now he was unable to threaten or curse Long Chen. Since you like spouting shit, I'm helping you stay full. That way, when you start bullshitting others, it'll be stronger than ever. There's no need to thank me. I can only help you so much. After saying that, Long Chen gave the iron horn scaled bull a kick, rousing it from its slumber. Before it could understand what was happening, explosive sounds started ringing behind its spot, frightening it out of its mind. It immediately charged off, ignoring the fact that it was dragging Han Yanchen behind it. The originally peaceful forest immediately became lively as the firecrackers went off, and the terrified iron horn scaled bull fled for its life. What is that? Is that a human tied to its tail? Aya, he's not wearing any clothes. Pervert. Heavens. Am I blind? Or that is the northern source's heavenly genius. Han Yanshan. The string of firecrackers was very long. It continued going off for half an incense stick's worth of time. During that time, the frightened bull fled far into the distance, allowing countless people to see it. Those people didn't dare to believe their eyes. The female disciples didn't dare to look since this person was naked. So it was the men who clearly saw it was Han Yanshan. A generation's heavenly genius. A rank 5 celestial. An unrevealed existence had been stripped naked and tied to a bull's tail. This scene was shocking. Seeing the bull flee into the distance, Long Chen reluctantly waved his hand. Brother, I'll miss you, but that's okay. I trust we have fate and will quickly meet again. After saying that, Long Chen tidied up and continued forward. At that very moment, the elder hall was completely silent. Mu Kingsuan was focused on the formation plate, not daring to look at the screen. Elder Li Changfeng, this is the mature. Intelligent youth you described? I'm sorry, but I have to express my doubts. Laughed an elder. Li Changfeng didn't get angry. He bitterly smiled, saying, I also never thought Long Chen was this senseless. With the formations, they could all clearly see what was happening outside. Originally, Li Changfeng had described Long Chen as a man who had experienced countless hardships and fully matured as a result. But Long Chen's current conduct made him speechless. He, he's already in his 20s but he still is like a child. Having some childishness isn't bad, laughed an elder. All right, go back to focusing on your own people. This time was a bit disappointing. If we had known the disciples this time would be so strong, we would have sent stronger disciples to greet them. Now the disciples are too arrogant and hard to handle. We have to be firm with them, so our responsibility is heavier than ever. Otherwise, the law enforcement hall is going to criticize us, sighed the hall master. Yes. Hall master, said everyone. The elder hall was in charge of raising the Zhuanshan Dao sect's geniuses, the missions, the release of resources, the guidance. It was all on them, which made their burden very heavy. As for the law enforcement hall, it was also its own department in charge of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Both the disciples and elders were within the scope of their supervision, giving them a great deal of authority. In the past few years, more and more disciples had joined the law enforcement hall causing them to grow stronger than ever. They had begun to interfere with the Elder Hall's matters. However, those things weren't expressly stipulated that they had to be handled by the Elder Hall. The Elder Hall was in a position to handle them, and the Law Enforcement Hall was the same. For example, the matter in the Eastern Wasteland should have originally been handled by the Elder Hall, but the Law Enforcement Hall had forcibly sent Lu Minghan with the guise of overseeing and investigating the Eastern Wasteland's disciples. Because of Long Chen's matter, Li Changfeng had suppressed Lu Minghan, making the law enforcement hall lose face. 
but Lu Minghan had truly gone too far and left himself vulnerable, making it so they had no choice but to accept things as they were. The higher-ups didn't wish for the Elder Hall and the Law Enforcement Hall's conflict to grow any greater. So this time, the elders who had gone to greet the disciples were all picked by the Sect Protecting Pavilion. The Sect Protecting Pavilion was also a powerful department, similar to a nation's army. They had the greatest power in the Zhuangshan Dao Sect and were in charge of protecting the Sect and fighting its battles. Elder Sha and the others were all from the Sect Protecting Pavilion. Their position was special as others didn't dare to have any objections to what they did. This was the only way to maintain the balance. While the Elder Hall's people were busy keeping watch over the disciples, Long Chen continued forward. He saw quite a few people on the way, and saw many who had easily escaped the illusion formation and continued forward. Furthermore, they had all kinds of methods for escaping the illusion formation, which made him think of a crude expression, just like how birds had their own way to crab. Everyone has their own deos, but his journey forward wasn't very peaceful. It should be described as extremely lively, because he saw quite a few battles. But those battles were like scuffles between children. Some people would begin to bawl after losing, saying their opponent had cheated. Long Chen almost passed out from watching, but then thinking about it, his guess was that the righteous path where they were was probably extremely strong and able to suppress the corrupt path. Perhaps they had no enemies causing the quality of their experts to drop. Unfortunately, he didn't encounter a single dragonblood warrior on the way, or even a disciple from the Eastern Wasteland. The pitiful numbers of the Eastern Wasteland had been completely drowned out by the other three regions people. Continuing forward another day, a sea of mist appeared before him. This wasn't an illusion, but true mist, a special kind that suppressed his soul, making it so he couldn't investigate what was happening inside with his divine sense. The mist was endless, and it was impossible to see the end. But as Jade Plate continued to indicate the direction and point directly through the mist, when Long Chen first stepped into the mist, he was unable to see anything. He was only able to faintly sense what direction he was going. Fortunately, the Jade Plate continued to indicate the direction for him, so he wouldn't get lost. As he carefully advanced, his elbow suddenly struck something, and extending a hand, he felt a soft round lump. A woman's startled cry rang out. Rogue, do you know who I am? You want to take advantage of me? Do you believe when I say I'll sever your ability to carry on your ancestral line? Raged a woman. Long Chen hadn't even understood what he had touched when a round of cursing rained down on him. Hearing her arrogance, he roared back. Do you believe me when I say I'll start carrying on my ancestral line right now? That woman let out a startled cry. It was unknown if she had been frightened away or if someone else had touched her as well. Her voice rang out hundreds of meters away. No, something's wrong. There's a strange formation in this fog. I have to move carefully. Being touched by a woman wouldn't be bad, but being touched by a man would be bad. Gotta be careful. Long Chen began to circulate his flame energy, forming a flame barrier around him. The high temperature would allow others to sense him and avoid any accidental perverted encounters. After advancing a bit further, Long Chen's warning sense went off. A large hand whistled toward his back. The immense power behind it caused Long Chen's heart to shake. Chapter 997 A Rare Commodity Translator Born to be Boom Long Chen's fist smashed into a large hand. However, he found that it wasn't a human hand, but a wooden hand. As soon as he blocked it, another whistling attack came for the back of his head. He hastily reached his other hand out, using his fingers as claws to catch it. After catching this hand, he realized that its owner was an extremely refined wooden puppet. The details on its fingers were perfect, and it even had fingerprints. Although it was a wooden puppet, it was as hard as metal, and as Long Chen caught its fist, it rapidly retreated. Suddenly, it sent a downward kick toward Long Chen's shoulder. Long Chen snorted and also gave it a kick, striking its leg. This time, Long Chen used 80% of his power, and he blew apart its leg but he also felt a burst of pain in his foot and grumbled inside about how hard it was. His current physical body was extremely powerful, to the point where even treasure items would find it difficult to injure him. However, kicking this wooden puppet caused him a burst of pain. It was extraordinary. The wooden puppet rapidly fell back again after its other leg kicked at Long Chen. He was startled, as this didn't make sense. With both its legs off the ground, how was it retreating? Long Chen smashed apart its other foot and realized what it was. There was a rod supporting the puppet's body beneath its butt. There should be some mechanism below that controlled its attacks. Even as Long Chen smashed the puppet and grabbed the rod, 
it continued to move around him rapidly. So the mechanism is activated once you walk into a set range at which point the wooden puppet will attack you from the front, back, left, and right. He, there are a total of four attacks, and they all come from different directions. Interesting. With his hand on the rod, feeling it move around, he gradually came to understand the puppet's function. It truly was interesting. The person who had set it up had calculated the person's retreat path, so these four attacks could all cause quite a bit of damage. If a person blocked the first attack from the front, they would assume their enemy was at the front, and then it would be easy to fall for the next attack. Just at this moment, a miserable scream rang out and a figure flew by Long Chen's body. After being in the mist for so long, he had gotten accustomed and could now see things within a few meters. He saw a man whose shoulder had been destroyed. As this man shot past him, it was clear he probably hadn't understood what was happening before being sent flying by a wooden puppet. That injury on his shoulder was exactly where the wooden puppet had first tried to hit Long Chen. This fellow had probably been struck without sensing anything. This level of spiritual perception toward danger is truly amazing. Long Chen was speechless. Although the puppet's attack was sudden, the surrounding space was essentially still. The puppet would cause quite a disturbance when it attacked, but this person hadn't been able to sense it? Truly marvelous. He was sure that any dragonblood warrior would be able to dodge all the wooden puppet's attacks. That was due to their experience from life and death battles. He continued forward for several miles. Suddenly, he heard the sound of digging. What was going on? Was someone trying to bury the evidence of killing someone? That was far too brazen. Guo Ran, what do you think you're doing? But when he got closer, he saw that it was Guo Ran digging. Boss, the core of the mechanism is down below. I want to go study it, said Guo Ran. Why waste the effort? Once you pass, you'll have plenty of things to study and research. Long Chen was speechless. Boss, you just don't understand. If I don't figure it out, I won't be able to sleep at night. Ah, boss, I hear that Han Yunchen was stripped naked, and his little ding ding was blown off by a firecracker. It was done by you, right, said Guo Ran. His little ding ding is so weak. Long Chen was startled. But then he quickly realized that with his spiritual yuan sealed, Han Yunchen hadn't been able to protect himself. As for his life rod, that place was naturally weaker. Then that really was possible. Damn, you really know how to work. When I heard that news, I almost died of laughter. That idiot deserves to be played to death, said Guo Ran excitedly. Are you really planning on digging more? It might be very deep, or maybe someone will stop you before you get there. Don't waste the effort. Long Chen didn't have a high opinion of Guo Ran's choice. I have to dig more. I just can't drop this matter, said Guo Ran. All right then, go ahead. I'm moving on. Long Chen didn't bother him any longer. In truth, Guo Ran was a very passionate fellow. His talent and passion toward forging arts and mechanisms were incomparable. Since he had decided on this, Long Chen didn't force him to stop. He could do what he wanted. Three days later, Guo Ran finally dug his way to the core. But what dumbfounded him was that the underground core was one complete piece, and he was unable to break it open to see the secrets within. Just as he was preparing to break a piece of it to see inside, an elder appeared and harshly berated him, warning him not to break public property. Only then had Guo Ran left, almost crying, but that was something that happened later. Long Chen continued onwards. He suddenly saw some disciples rushing forward without any misjivings. They weren't afraid of activating the mechanisms at all startling him. Wow, there are some smart fellows. Long Chen saw a certain thing in their hands. It appeared to be a seed. Sometimes those people would suddenly stop and slowly detour before continue to rush off. Startled, Long Chen tested it by walking into those spots. As expected, he met a puppet's attacks. That made him a bit depressed. Where had they obtained those seeds? Don't miss this opportunity. The divine seed capable of sensing the attacking puppets is here. With this divine seed, you'll be able to pass this trial easily, safely, quickly, and painlessly. Quick, come take a look. They're almost sold out. Long Chen suddenly heard shouting. He rushed over and saw a slim but shrewd looking man shouting. Seeing Long Chen arrive, his eyes lit up. Oh, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Hello. I've long since heard of your great name. Do you want to buy a divine seed? I know that a peerless hero like you doesn't need such a thing, but I trust that the people by your side will need it. How is it? Do you want to buy any for your people? He asked. Long Chen laughed. This fellow really knew how to talk. Worried Long Chen would refuse because of his prestige. 
He immediately gave him a way to purchase it without losing face. What kind of seed is it? What's the price? Asked Long Chen. Even I don't know this seed's name. I came up with its name myself. But if I say it, I'm afraid you'll laugh at me. So I won't say it. As for its price, I sold it to others for a thousand middle grade spirit stones. No haggling at all. But for you, I'll only charge 800. How about it? He looked sincerely at Long Chen. Haha. <laughs> Do you think I'm an idiot? Just now, there was someone who said they bought it for a hundred middle grade spirit stones. For you to sell it to me for 800. Do you dare to raise the price even more? Demanded Long Chen. Ah? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Don't get angry. I probably sold it for the wrong price. Since that's the case, I'll punish myself and give it to you for only 80. No. 50 middle grade spirit stones. What do you think? He said hastily. Long Chen almost laughed. He really had no integrity. He came up with the prices on the spot. I'll buy one. Long Chen was extremely curious about what the seed was, and he didn't care about the price, but he didn't want others to treat him as a cash cow. After receiving the money, that person was delighted and hastily gave Long Chen a small seed. The seed was the size of a pistachio. Its shell was slightly opened, and there was a layer of dust over it. Little fellow, you really have some skill. Seeds from the tree demon chi fruit are sold by the dozens for low-grade spirit stones, but you're selling them for 50 middle-grade ones. Not bad, not bad, laughed Long Chen. That person's expression immediately changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to recognize this extremely unknown fruit. He thought he was about to become hostile. Don't panic, I'm just praising your business sense. This tree demon chi seed has been infected by the Marvel Carp Camphor Flowers Powder. It makes the seed very sensitive. Any trace of wood energy will make it germinate a bit, and that way it's possible to sense where the wooden puppets are. Not bad, not bad, praised Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is erudite and easily saw through junior disciples' methods, he said. He hadn't expected this trick of his to be easily seen through. The reason why he dared to sell this so openly was because basically no one recognized those two things. The former was no precious medicine, while the latter was a very neglected item. You should know how to refine pills, correct? Asked Long Chen. I'm just an amateur who can refine rank 4 medicinal pills. My talent was too low in that regard, so I had no more room to grow. That's why I changed to the money-making path. I worked hard to gather as many resources as possible and spend them on myself. And that's the only way I managed to muddle my way to the central plains. Answered that man. He was smiling, but his voice was clearly a bit bitter and helpless. There had to be some unspoken grievances within his story. There are no high or low paths to getting stronger. To rely on your own smarts to make money isn't embarrassing. It's much better than those idiots who are just a waste of food. Laughed Long Chen. Many thanks. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. This man hadn't expected Long Chen to praise him instead of looking down on him. It had to be known that in his eyes, Long Chen was the true heavenly genius. He had never thought such a person would look favorably upon him. Novaloon.com What's your name? Asked Long Chen. Junior brother is Kyan Duaduo. It's not that I really have so much money, but that my surname is Kyan, and my parents hoped I wouldn't have to worry about money. So they gave me that name. He hastily explained. Not bad. People who stand on their own two feet are all worthy of respect. But this kind of business method is a bit lacking. Long Chen shook his head. Please give me pointers. Senior apprentice brother, asked Kyan Duado respectfully. Long Chen looked around, and coincidentally seeing a fellow walking past, he shouted, Little fellow, come over. Kyan equals money duo equals lots. Chapter 998 Once more fighting Han Yunchen translator, born to be that person was just about to detour a bit further away, but hearing Long Chen call him, he winced and came over. Does senior apprentice brother need anything? He asked. Of course. Seeing your forehead full and your bones out of alignment, I can tell you must have been beaten quite a bit. Aya, even your head is swelling. I have a seed from a divine tree god that can let you find luck and avoid calamity, allowing you to safely pass this part of the trial. This kind of seed is something I just bought from this brother. Back then, I spent 2000 middle grade spirit stones, but I find that with my power, I don't need this thing, so I want to trade it. How is it? Do you want it? Asked Long Chen. You're selling it to me. Hearing this, that person immediately ran through some calculations. He shrewdly said, This seed is now second hand, so I'll offer at most 1,500. But, doesn't that mean I'll lose 500? Asked Long Chen. Let's forget about it. 
I'll continue onwards. Perhaps this region comes to an end in just a bit, said that man, faking that he was about to leave. Fine, fine, I'll take the loss. I'll treat it as half selling and half giving, said Long Chen with a pained expression. That shrewd person excitedly left with the seed. His appearance was like he had just made a fortune, making Kyan Duaduo dumbfounded. Everyone likes to get things for cheap. It's about how you can take advantage of that. Although there are many other factors in business, this is definitely a simple one. If you add it to your marketing techniques, your profit will definitely multiply. You can't do business too rigidly, laughed Long Chen as he turned to leave. He had already figured out the origin of the seed, so there was no need to waste any more time here. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen called out Kyan Duaduo. What is it? Kyan Duaduo clenched his teeth and asked. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you are a dragon amongst men. I don't know if you think highly of this junior brother, but junior brother is willing to become your dog, your horse, whatever you need. You want to join me, correct? It just so happens I need someone like you who knows business. But first, think of a way to avoid washing out, laughed Long Chen, waving his hand in goodbye. Kyan Duaduo was pretty smart, and it seemed he also had some experience. Long Chen would be at ease with such a person handling things. If he gave him an opportunity, he would cherish it more than others. Long Chen truly needed someone like him. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was huge, and he would be busy. He needed someone to handle these things. Although he didn't bother with business, he knew money was the number one requirement for cultivators. Without money, no matter how great your talent was, you would still starve to death. The Dragon Blood Legion needed to grow and they needed great financial ability behind them. Upon arriving here, he saw that everyone's talent could only count as average. Any sect would focus their resources on the peak geniuses, and Long Chen didn't want the Dragon Blood Legion to become unevenly matched and eventually fracture. That was the situation he wanted to avoid the most. If they couldn't obtain enough resources from the sect, then they would need to prepare. Zhen Wenlong was only able to give him a few resources, and he couldn't rely too much on him. After all, Distant water couldn't be drunk. Before Zhen Wenlong fully established himself in Central Plains, he needed to rely on himself for resources. He had to allow the Dragon Blood Warriors to grow at least as quickly as the top disciples, or if they were thrown too far into the distance, the amount of resources they would get would shrink as well. Then it would just be an unending cycle. The Dragon Blood Warriors needed to focus on cultivating, and he himself couldn't be running around all day. So he needed someone skilled in this regard to help him handle things. Kyan Duaduo's appearance gave Long Chen a pleasant surprise. He was smart enough, and as a person, he also seemed good. He'd think it over and see if he was worth grooming. As he continued forward, he directly summoned the Divine Ring, and whenever he encountered one of the wooden puppets, he would smash it apart before moving on. A few days later, he finally escaped from the mist. What was in front of him was a huge lake. The water was completely still and clear, looking like a mirror. It was beautiful and enchanting. The lake was unimaginably huge, so huge that the other end could not be seen. There were quite a few people in front of it, unable to find a solution. Boss, you've come. There were thousands of disciples in front of the lake, racking their brains for a solution. One of them was a dragon blood warrior. What's going on? Why aren't you crossing? Asked Long Chen. The lake is very strange. There's no way to swim or to fly across it, he said. He explained how people who tried to go over the air immediately fell, and people who tried to swim immediately sank into the depths of the lake, unable to float. Some people had tried to cross the lake, and right now, they were at the bottom of the lake, waving at them. A few disciples were now using a long rope to pull them back to the shore. Originally, they had thought that if they couldn't fly or swim, they could walk across the bottom. But after just a few meters, they found that the water began to condense around them. There was no way to continue forward, and as a result of going too far, there was no way back either. Were there people who crossed before? Asked Long Chen. If all the people had failed to cross, there shouldn't be this few people here. Senior apprentice brother Yan Machen created a bridge with his earth energy and brought a group of people over. But after they crossed, the bridge collapsed. The foundation is right there. A disciple pointed to a pile of dirt. I hear senior apprentice sister Xiao Ziyan created a water bridge over the surface of the lake and brought a group of people over as well. The water bridge just disappeared after, sighed another. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you're so strong, you can bring us over, right? Asked a cute maiden, charmingly looking at him. No, I'm not a rank 5 celestial, 
I don't have such abilities. It'll be hard enough to get myself across. Long Chen naturally wouldn't fall for such a thing. Furthermore, she wasn't even that pretty. Everyone was disappointed. They were unable to come up with anything for crossing this lake. HMPH. I just knew the Eastern Wasteland's dogs were useless. Sneered someone within the crowd. This person was crafty, and his voice was dispersed through the air so they couldn't tell who was speaking. Everyone's expressions changed. Idiot. Your spiritual fluctuations sell you out. Long Chen waved his hand, directly pulling out the person who had spoken. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't blame the wrong person, cried that fellow. Good luck. Long Chen tossed him over the lake. That person fell after just a few hundred meters, sinking right to the bottom. Long Chen frowned. As expected, this lake was strange. With his power, that person should have flown hundreds of miles, not meters. Some unknown force was present. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, he'll die like this. Then you'll have killed someone, warned a kind-hearted stranger. It's fine. He can definitely hold on for a couple of months. Once the trial is over, someone will naturally come and save him. And if no one saves him, he'll have died after the trial. In other words, I wouldn't have killed anyone during the trial. His death has nothing to do with me, said Long Chen. Everyone felt a chill as well as some sympathy for that fellow. What was the point of having such a wretched mouth? Now he had done it. If no one saved him, he would die in the water. That was a terrifying death. It was almost impossible to move in that water. If he wasn't crushed to death by the water, he would starve to death. Within this water, there was no way to absorb spiritual key, and so he could only wait for death. Even if someone saved him, it would be after the trial, and he would have lost his chance to join the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Why bother? Looking at this lake, Long Chen thought to himself that there was no way for him to cross it. He remembered back in the Zhuanshan Monastery, there had also been a river blocking the way. That river had been filled with man-eating fish, and he had used a catapult to fling him across. But that move wouldn't work here. This lake was too strange. He had a thought to summon Huo Long and fly across with the Dragon Blood Warrior. But there were so many people watching him and he felt embarrassed to go on his own. Furthermore, he didn't know if it would work. Long Chen, I finally found you. Die. Just as Long Chen was racking his brain, a furious shout rang out. The air became icy as if it had suddenly become winter. Han Yunshin. Han Yunshin charged over, runes revolving around him. An ice sword appeared in his hands, and he slashed it at Long Chen. Die. Freezing ice terror slash, roared Han Yunshin. His sword suddenly exploded in size, and the ice key emitting from it seemed like it could freeze a person's soul. This was one of his most powerful moves. Long Chen had tortured him and caused his family jewels to be destroyed. Even Heavenly Dao energy wasn't fully effective at healing injuries there. Thus, his family line really might be severed. Furthermore, many people had seen him naked and dragged along by a bull. Even if he made huge accomplishments in the future, it wouldn't wash away that stain. His hatred for Long Chen had reached a peak, and he immediately attacked with his full power, not caring if he killed him. Double Dragon Destruction Long Chen formed hand seals, and two dragons blew apart the huge ice sword. Millions of diamond-like crystals filled the air, appearing beautiful and gorgeous. Han Yunchen was stunned. He had thought that this move of his would at least heavily injure Long Chen, if not kill him. But instead of seeing Long Chen on his last breaths, a fist smashed into his nose, breaking his bones once more. Han Yunchen's face caved in and he fainted. Everyone present only came to their senses now. They had only seen two dragons and a large explosion before everything ended. Han Yunchen was like a chicken in Long Chen's hand. Isn't, isn't this a bit too exaggerated? Chapter 999 Fairy Boat Translator Born to be a Grand Rank 5 Celestial had been captured in just one move. This toppled all their understanding of heavenly geniuses. In truth, this result was not because Long Chen was too powerful, but simply that Han Yunchen was too stupid. Long Chen practically hadn't had to do anything. Han Yunchen's ice blade truly had been powerful, practically capable of freezing even space. It was on the same level as the double dragon destruction, which was enough to show how powerful it was. But this idiot had no battle experience at all. After releasing this one move, he had just waited in anticipation to see Long Chen on his last breaths. As a result, Long Chen knocked him unconscious with a single punch. For a cultivator to be this stupid, Long Chen's eyes were truly open to the world. It was his first time admiring someone so much. Everyone, prepare to cross the lake. We have a boat now. Long Chen dragged the unconscious Han Yunchen over to the lake. With one foot on his danshan, 
Ice Qi rapidly condensed over the lake. Under the control of Long Chen's spiritual strength, a 300 meter ice boat rapidly formed over the lake. It floated calmly on the surface of the water, and Han Yanchen was the core at the bottom of the boat. Come, there's no time to explain. Get on. Long Chen was the first to jump onto the ice boat. This boat was condensed of ice, so it didn't sink into the water. It was very safe. Everyone's jaw dropped. Han Yanchen was actually being used as a tool to ferry everyone across. Long Chen really had some crazy ideas. But seeing Long Chen jump onto the boat, they clenched their teeth and jumped on as well. A few people took out some tools to use as oars, and the ice boat began to smoothly advance. Aya, suddenly, a woman's frightened scream rang out, causing everyone to jump. They thought that water had invaded the ship, and their souls almost fled in terror. But when they looked around, they didn't see anything odd. They glared at that woman. She blushed and pointed to the bottom of the boat. He, he, everyone looked and saw that Han Yanchen had woken. He was now looking at them through the translucent boat. They then looked at the woman who was wearing a skirt and came to a sudden comprehension. Don't worry, his meridians have been sealed by me. He won't be able to break that seal without 10 to 15 days. As for your problem, he, well, he's helping us so much, so you're not losing out by letting him have a peek, joked Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you're evil. The woman was completely red. She jumped to the end of the boat, just thinking of that pair of eyes staring at her. She felt goosebumps. Cough. There are quite a few sisters with skirts. It's best to stay covered. A woman took out a beast fur blanket that covered the entire surface of the boat completely blocking Han Yanchen's line of sight. They were much more at ease after that. They were worried Han Yanchen would remember them. Although the main offender was Long Chen, they were now benefiting from Han Yanchen's misery. If he soared in the future, it would be troublesome for them. If Long Chen had known he would be so blessed as to look up at them, Long Chen would have turned him downwards. The ice boat safely glided into the opposing shore eventually, and thanking Long Chen, they all jumped off and left. Once everyone else was gone, Long Chen tasked the Dragonblood Warrior with being a ferryman. If any other Dragonblood Warriors had to cross, he could bring them over. Of course, he could also conveniently take in a ferry fee from others as well. The price wasn't high. Just a thousand middle grade spirit stones. Long Chen's guess was that two thirds of the people had already crossed by now. The others who hadn't crossed had limited power, causing them to waste more time. So this ferry project would definitely rack in quite a bit of profit. A thousand middle grade spirit stones for one person wasn't that much. Anyone was capable of coughing up that price, and it also wasn't enough to make people greedy. It was safe and quick money. If a third of the people really hadn't made it yet, then that meant there were over 200,000 disciples. Then assuming a quarter of them were stuck in the illusions or dealing with the wooden puppets, that meant maybe 150,000 disciples would arrive. If each one of them ended up paying, then that would bring in 150 million middle grade spirit stones. That sum was a shocking amount. Damn, I didn't even know it would be this much before calculating. This is definitely a good project. Once he calculated the possible profit, Long Chen jumped in shock. Most of his money had been left behind in the Zhuanchen Dao sect. Its reconstruction had cost a fortune, and there were many aspects that needed continued financial support. Long Chen had intentionally left behind all that wealth so that Ouyang Qiuayu and Chu Wuhan could build up the strongest possible sect that way. He wouldn't have to worry about them. No good. If there's this much profit to be made, we have to be careful. Here, I'll put some makeup on you, and you pretend to be one of the sect's elders. Just stay here with a bamboo hat and a fake identity plate. There's no need to go too far, and remember to act noble. Only once they kneel down and beg will you feel forced into accepting their money. Understood, asked Long Chen. You really are our boss. You come up with the craziest ideas to make money, said the Dragonblood Warrior. There's no choice but to do that. It's against the rules to rob people during the trial, or I'd have taken everything from this idiot. However, this little fellow isn't that bad. He can help us make some money, so we have to properly take advantage of it. In the future, we'll need money for so many things. Our family's big, and there are so many people to support. You have to always be on the lookout for ways to make some money, said Long Chen. Don't worry, boss. The Dragonblood warrior patted his chest confidently. Long Chen found an extremely strange set of robes for him to wear, and with some special makeup, he changed the Dragonblood warrior's appearance. In an instant, he became a stern-looking elder. He truly did appear intimidating, and after adding some details, 
It wasn't easy to see through his disguise. He warned him that the seal would only last for 10 days. This fairy business could only continue for 9 days. And after that, he should toss Han Yanchen aside to avoid him breaking out of the seal and attacking whoever was conducting the ship. If he felt too unwilling to give up this business, he could sell the boat for a steal so others could become the ferryman. That dragonblood warrior almost prostrated himself in admiration when he heard that. All right, I'll be leaving now. After telling him all this, Long Chen took his leave to avoid others seeing through some clues. The dragonblood warrior lazily took a nap on the ice boat, patiently waiting for his customers to arrive. He didn't know that Han Yanchen had heard everything from the bottom of the boat and had fainted from fury. Long Chen continued onwards. After hundreds of miles, he suddenly heard a roaring sound. There were people fighting in the distance. He rushed over to take a look and saw five disciples fighting an eighth rank magical beast. It was a Scarlet Blaze Lizard. From its aura, it should be at the mid eighth rank. This Scarlet Blaze Lizard is on an even lower level than the Earth Dragon. The amount of dragon blood inside it is essentially negligible. In the Eastern Wasteland, the Scarlet Blaze Lizard would at most be able to grow to the sixth rank. This one doesn't have anything special about it, and its bloodline is also very impure but it has reached the 8th rank. It seems the dense spiritual key in the central plains allows magical beasts to grow to even greater heights, muttered Long Chen to himself. It seemed the density of spiritual key in different regions affected magical beasts a great deal, but then its effect on humans should be even greater. Just at this moment, a woman amongst the group of five was sent flying by a swat from the Scarlet Blaze Lizard. Her blood splattered as one of her arms blew apart. Careful, the other four all cried out because the Scarlet Blaze Lizard's huge tail was now smashing toward her. They were all aware of how powerful that tail was. If she was struck in her current state, she would instantly be blown apart and killed. What? You can actually lose your life in this trial? There should be someone who will save her. Right. Long Chen was startled. There was no way the woman could block this attack on her own. Based on the previous parts of the trial, this should just be a very foundational test, and there shouldn't be any danger to anyone's life. Thus. Long Chen didn't immediately interfere and just watched instead. But when that tail was just about to strike her body, he had no choice but to go out personally. Boom. Debris exploded into the air. The other four all thought she had died, and they were stunned that there was danger of dying in this trial. But when the dust settled, they saw someone standing in front of that woman, still in his punching posture. Many thanks that woman had thought she was dead for sure. So realizing she wasn't, she was ecstatic. She was just about to say her thanks when a blood-colored light shot out and directly cut off the Scarlet Blaze Lizard's head. This terrifying Scarlet Blaze Lizard was killed in one move, making the five of them dumbfounded. It took them a while before one of them reacted and hastily bowed. Many thanks for saving our lives, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. Although Long Chen had not reached the ranks of the Rank 5 Celestials, everyone from the four regions knew this miraculous figure. It was nothing. But if you knew you were going to die, why didn't you crush your jade plate? Then someone would come to save you. Why throw away your life? Long Chen curiously asked that woman. A trace of sadness appeared in her eyes. She shook her head, saying, I have a blood debt I have to repay, but I was powerless to kill my opponents. If I can't grow in the central plains, I won't be able to get revenge, and then my life won't have any meaning. Many thanks for saving me, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Hmm. So a woman with her own story. But then again, Everyone has their own stories, Long Chen thought to himself. He nodded and said, The five of you lack battle experience and aren't ruthless enough. You should bring in a few people to strengthen your force before continuing onwards. People have to have goals, but as long as you are alive, there is hope. Even if that hope is very remote, that hope will disappear once you die. Throwing your life away is running away from responsibility. Death is easy, but living is hard. However, just because something is hard doesn't mean it's impossible. That woman's eyes lit up and she said, Thank you for the reminder. I understand. Long Chen nodded. Taking away the Scarlet Blaze Lizard's corpse, he continued onwards. This experience gave Long Chen a warning. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's trial wasn't as simple as he had thought. Chapter 1000 Just Kill Him Translator Born to be as Long Chen continued forward, he saw mountains and valleys, as well as quite a few signs of battle. He even saw some severed limbs. He frowned. Perhaps the true trial only started now. Thinking of those fellows he hadn't seen yet, he shook his head. There was an old saying, if a person had to suffer, they should suffer as early as possible. This was entirely correct. 
Only once you suffered enough could you avoid even greater suffering. If you treated your disciples with too much pampering, refusing to allow them to suffer at all, then in the future, they would eventually suffer immensely. Now that the true trial was starting, it was unknown how many disciples were dying here. This was the price of pampering. A loud booming sound came from ahead and Long Chen rushed over to see a huge mountain pass. The two mountains extended far to the sides, making this the only way through. The mountains were precipitous here, with the sides practically vertical. The cliff side was sleek and smooth. The runes on it clearly showed it was set up intentionally this way so no one could climb it. This mountain pass was guarded by a huge magical beast. It was a Zuan turtle. Its entire body was covered in scales, and its shell sparkled with ancient runes. It was like a mountain blocking the pass, and currently, a group of people were fighting against it. Seeing that, Long Chen frowned. He ran back and returned to the place where he had just killed a magical beast. He saw that another magical beast had appeared there. So that's what it is. Once a magical beast is killed and the people who kill it pass, they'll send another magical beast to guard that place. It seems there's a special formation restricting the magical beasts from roaming. It was no wonder Long Chen had felt like something was wrong. The people at the front should have already killed all the magical beasts. So wouldn't the latter people be able to safely pass? But there were people were secretly controlling things behind the scenes, replacing the slain magical beasts to maintain the difficulty of the trial. Only then did Long Chen return to the mountain pass where hundreds of disciples were fighting the Zuan turtle. The Zuan turtle was extremely large, and he didn't know what breed it was. As the runes on its shell revolved, a faint layer of light appeared over it, blocking all these people's attacks. When it opened its mouth, a terrifying water arrow would shoot out sending hundreds of disciples flying. Quite a few of them vomited blood. If it weren't for the treasure items protecting their bodies, there would have been casualties. Seeing over 700 disciples shouting loudly as they fought all out against this 8th rank magical beast, Long Chen couldn't help but find it laughable. He sat down at a mountain top and just watched them besieging the magical beast. Although two magical beasts could both be in the mid 8th rank, some had special bloodlines or abilities. For example, this Zuan turtle's defensive power was perfect without any opening. Although there were quite a few rank 4 celestials amongst this group, they were still unable to break its defense. This intense fight continued for a long while. Startled cries and furious roars intertwined along with cursing and grumbling. Fortunately for them, the Zuan turtle's attacks weren't very sharp. As long as these people focused, they would only be injured and not killed. Is Brother Long just going to sit here and watch the show? Suddenly. A voice rang out behind Long Chen, startling him. He actually hadn't sensed this person approaching him. Oh, so it's Sister Zion. How coincidental. Long Chen hadn't expected to run into the rank 5 celestial Xiao Zion here. This was Xiao Zion's first time seeing someone like this. Long Chen didn't stand up, cup his fists, or even bow at all. He greeted her like she was an old friend, giving off a very intimate feeling. It was like in Long Chen's eyes, everyone was the same not worth looking up to and not worth looking down upon. This surprised her. Xiao Ziyan was very beautiful, but in Long Chen's eyes, she hadn't reached the level of Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, and his other women. He had experienced a great deal in the past few years, and now, he found himself indifferent to many more things than before. He was past the age of being unable to control himself around a beauty. Brother Long's bearing is out of the ordinary, a hero amongst people. Xiao Ziyan smiled slightly. What did you say? Asked Long Chen. I said Brother Long's bearing is out of the ordinary, a hero amongst people, repeated Xiao Ziyan. Ah, actually, I heard you the first time, but I always like to hear people complimenting me more, laughed Long Chen Novaloon.com Xiao Ziyan was stunned for a moment, clearly not used to this way of talking. Looking at his smile, she shook her head. Brother Long's way of talking really is interesting. He, my people are all villagers who like to just talk directly. We'll listen to nice words multiple times, but we'll pretend not to hear bad words. That's how we maintain a good mood as we face more challenges, said Long Chen indifferently. This way of thinking is novel. Xiao Ziyan smiled slightly, raising her dress slightly. She sat on the rock beside him. Long Chen politely scooted over a bit, asking, With your power, you should be at the very front. Why are you here, lagging behind? Long Chen was curious. An expert like Xiao Ziyan should be at the very front. After all, top experts all liked to strive for first place. Of course, a marvel like Han Yunchen didn't count. He was still being a good ferry boat and helping him make money. 
Don't you also have the power to charge to the front but are staying here instead? Xia Ziyan didn't reply. Pushing back a stray hair, she returned the question to him. Me? I was held back by an idiot. Or I'd have long since run to the front. But now that I'm already behind, I'm too lazy to chase you all. Just looking at the nice scenery here is good. Oh, it couldn't be that Sister Ziyan also fell behind because of an idiot? Could it be? Long Chen suddenly looked at Xiao Ziyan. Brother Long, you're overthinking things. An unnatural expression appeared on Xiao Ziyan's face. Long Chen shook his head. What do you mean overthinking things? Just from your expression and Wei Chang He's appearance, I can tell everything. His perverted gaze completely sells him out. His mouth is slanted. His nose is crooked. His forehead is wide. His jaw is narrow. His face is as long as a sea. Nonsense. How could it be so exaggerated? Laughed Xiao Ziyan. Let me tell you. I'm very proficient in face reading. Wei Chang He shovel like. Big chin face is a special case. In the field of physiognomy, there's a special name for it. Reclusiverts. You might not have heard of such people, but surely you've heard of introverts. They're not very social, right? Well, reclusiverts take it to a new level. They're antisocial, and have taken it to the point that their characters have become twisted. Due to the shadow over their hearts, they can't have any companions. There are records in ancient tomes of reclusiverts having their minds clouded by anger and jealousy. Consumed by desire, they tear themselves apart, said Long Chen. Although he was just spouting nonsense. He was extremely sensitive to other people's negative emotions from the nine-star hegemon body art. He might not be right on the mark, but he should be pretty close. You really have heaven-peering arts. Xiao Ziyan was shocked. That was because having come from the southern sea with Wei Chang He, she was very familiar with his past. He was truly a troublesome and unreasonable person. Although Long Chen's words were cryptic, many aspects of them were correct. In truth. The reason his words were cryptic was because fortune telling was just holding up a mirror for someone else. That person could see whatever they wanted to see. Giving too many details made it easy to see through. So being cryptic and spouting nonsense that sounded right was the best way to avoid being suspected. Long Chen was clearly experienced in this regard, and he had completely tricked Xiao Ziyan. I know a bit, said Long Chen profoundly. Brother Long, since you know heaven peering arts, can you tell me how to deal with that person? Asked Xiao Ziyan. As expected, Xiao Ziyan had intentionally fallen back to avoid Wei Chang He. The two had definitely had some interactions before. After all, not just any power could raise a rank 5 celestial. Perhaps their two powers had intended for the two of them to marry, and that way, the two powers would become one and dominate the Southern Sea. But it seemed Xiao Ziyan intensely disliked Wei Chang He. Of course, that couldn't be blamed on her. From his looks, it was clear he was not a good person, and if you looked closely, well, it would be better to have just glanced quickly. His face had water fluctuations over it. It was a kind of beautifying effect, but Long Chen saw through that guise in an instant. In fact, even Tang Wanner was able to see through it easily. In truth, if you think this problem is difficult, then it's difficult. But if you think it's easy, then it's easy. The only thing you need to do is, Long Chen extended a hand and then suddenly stopped. Long Chen immediately felt embarrassed. He had gotten used to being a businessman and had just been about to offer a price. But he caught himself before he said anything. I understand. You mean I should grasp control of my fate with my own hands and break free of all restrictions to make the decisions I want to make? Right. Xiao Ziyan's eyes brightened with understanding. Long Chen shook his head. No. What I meant was that if he keeps bothering you, just slap him in the face and kill the bastard. Xiao Ziyan looked oddly at Long Chen. 